BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of his word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be his disciples and after his death and resurrection those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now after 2,000 years Beth Goyim Messianic congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Amen. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, please. Amen. Vamos en búsqueda de una bendición. Vamos al Evangelio de Marcos, capítulo 13. Mark, chapter 13, please. Marcos 13, por favor. This is the, going on to next slide. This is the 688th taped le recorded lesson. Este es el mensaje eh, titul eh, grabado. 688. It is called Damasek, Damascus, and the chess match. Se titula Damasco y el partido de ajedrez. Going on to the next slide. La siguiente página. Everything you hear today. Todo lo que escuches hoy. Will be in English and Spanish. Estará transmitido en inglés y en español. We are going to go to a lot of scripture. Vamos a repasar mucha escritura. I encourage everybody to read. Los animo a todos a que lean. As I read in English, please read along in English. Cuando leo en inglés, por favor, lean en inglés. I am not going to read the scripture in Spanish. No voy a leer las escrituras en español. So when I'm, I'm reading it in English, Entonces, cuando lea en inglés, please, for your own eternal soul, por favor, por tu uh, propia salvación del alma eterna, please read along with me God's word. Léelo conmigo, la palabra de Dios. I don't know of any other Spanish ministry in the world. No conozco ningún otro ministerio latino en el mundo. That is going to give you a lesson like this. Que te va a estar entregando una lección como esta. I've had some of my leadership that speaks Spanish searching the net. He tenido algunos de los líderes que hablan español y han estado eh, investigando en el internet. And there's not teachings like this, especially in Spanish. Y no hay enseñanzas como estas, especialmente en español. And if there is, please let me know. Y si las hay, por favor, déjame saber. This is going to be a very intense lesson. Esta va a ser una lección muy intensa. So I encourage everybody to read along with me God's word when we read it. Los animos a que lean conmigo la palabra de Dios cuando la leamos. You should highlight your Bible with underlining words. Deberían de subrayar la Biblia con con las con palabras, con las palabras. Our God does nothing in secret. Porque nuestro Dios no hace nada en secreto. He has told us what is about to happen. Él nos habló de lo que iba a acontecer. You have to understand how things get put together. Debes de entender cómo son puestas eh, las las reglas, las cosas. We're going to go back and forth in the scriptures today, so get ready to learn. Iremos de atrás para adelante en la escritura, así es que prepárate para aprender. Going on to the next slide. La próxima página. Today's lesson will have a synopsis and three lessons. La, la enseñanza de hoy tendrá una sinopsis o resumen y tres lecciones. I'm going to read it in English and Elizabeth is going to do it in Spanish. En, se leerá en inglés y en español. Synopsis. Israel bombs Syria. So what? Let's see who the players are. Let's look at Psalm 83. Let us look at Revelation. Let us look at wars and birth pangs. Let us look at Yeshayahu 17, Isaiah 17. Let us look at, the, at, at uh, Yechazel, Ezekiel 38 and 39. Let's understand how we got here and how to stop the next phase if possible. Amen. El resumen. Israel bombardeó a Siria. 
¿Y qué importa? Veamos quiénes son los jugadores. Echémosle un vistazo al Salmo 83. Echémosles un vistazo a Apocalipsis. Echémosles un vistazo a las guerras y los dolores de parto. Miremos a Yeshiyahu 17. Echémosles un vistazo a Ezequiel 38, 39. Entendamos cómo llegamos hasta aquí y cómo detener la siguiente fase si es posible. Going on to lesson number one. Who are the players? Mark 13, verse 7 and 8. This end is yet to come. The end is yet to come. Revelation, chapter 6, verse 1 through 8. You have been weighed. Divarim, Deuteronomy 28, verse 49 and 50. Conqueror to conquer. Revelation 6, verse 1 through 8. Yeshiahu, Isaiah, chapter 17, verses 1 through 3. Damasek, Damascus, has stopped being a city. Bereshit, Genesis 14, verse 14 and 15. Lofer, law of first reference. Damasek, a city in the time of Avram. Yeshiahu, Isaiah 17, verse 1 and 3. 1, 2, 3. Second Kings, verse, chapter 17, verse 5 and 6. Taken captive to the city of the Medes by the king of Ashur. That's Assyria. Yekazel, Ezekiel, chapter 38, verses 8 through 12. Living securely with no walls. Psalm 83, verse 1 through 10. Birth pains, but not the birth. Yehoshua, Joshua 17, verse 11 to 13. Endor becomes a servant to Yis Israel. Yechazel, Ezekiel 38, verse 18 through 23. I will show my greatness and holiness. Yeshiyahu, Isaiah 17, verse 1, 2, and 3. Amén. Primera lección. Guerra. ¿Quiénes son los jugadores? Marcos 13, del 7 al 8. El fin está por venir. Apocalipsis 6, del 1 al 8. Usted ha sido pesado. De Barín, Deuteronomio 28, 49 y 50. Los invasores se pondrán de acuerdo. Apocalipsis 6, del 1 al 8. Yeshiyahu. 17, del 1 al 3. Damasco ha dejado de ser una ciudad. Génesis 14, del 14 al 15, ley de la primera referencia. Dam Damasco, una ciudad en el tiempo de Abraham. Yeshiyahu, 17, del 1 al 3. Segundo libro de Reyes, 17, del 5 al 6. Llevado cautivo a la ciudad de los Medos por el rey de Asiria. Ezequiel 38, del 8 al 12, viviendo de una forma segura sin murallas. Salmo 83, del 1 al 10, los, dolo los dolores de parto, pero no el nacimiento. Y, um, Joshua 17, del 11 al 13, e Indor se convierte en un siervo de Israel. Ezequiel 38, 18 al 23, yo mostraré mi grandeza y santidad. Yeshiyahu, Isaías 17, del 1 al 3. Going on to lesson number two. Damasek pattern. In the year 734 B.C., Israel was also having trouble on its northern border with Syria. Second Kings, chapters 16 and 17, tell us all about it. In 734 B.C., Israel asked Assyria, the Turks, for help to fight against Syria. After Assyria conquered Conquered, after Assyria conquered Syria and took Damascus, they then attacked northern Israel. This is a model for the end time events that are unfolding now. Iran is at war with Israel in Syria, but Israel may ask Turkey for help. Now 54,000 are ready. 2 Kings 16, verse 1 through 4, verse 5, 2 Kings 16, verse 7 through 9, verse 10 and 11. Verse 12 and 13, verse 14 and 16, 14 to 16, 17 through 18, 2 Kings 17, verse 1 through 6. King of Ashur invades Israel. The horde found in Ezekiel 38. Amén. Segunda lección, el modelo de Damasco. En, en, el, en el 734 BC, Israel también estaba teniendo proble problemas en la frontera del norte con Siria. Segunda, segundo libro de Reyes, capítulo 16 y 17, nos cuenta todo al respecto. En, 
En el año 734 B.C., Israel le preguntó a Siria, a los turcos, por ayuda para luchar contra Siria, después de, que, después de que Asiria conquistó Siria y tomó Damasco. Atacaron el norte de Israel. Este es un modelo para los eventos del tiempo, de, del tiempo final que se está desarrollando ahora. Irán está en guerra con Israel en Siria, pero Israel puede pedir ayuda a Turquía. Ahora 54 mil están listos. Segundo libro de Reyes, 16 del 1 al 4, 5 hasta el 2, seg um, del, a, del 4 y 5. Segundo libro de Reyes, 17, 7 y 9, 10 y 11, 12 y 13, 14, 16, 17 y 18. Segundo libro de Reyes, 17 del 1 al 6, el rey de Ashur invade a Israel. La revuelta encontrada en Ezequiel 38. Going on, finally, the lesson number three. Are we provoking his wrath today? Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 7, verse 17 through 19. Or are they provoking themselves to their own ruin? Yeshiyahu, Jeremiah 25, verse 4 through 7. Message was always, every one of you, turn back. Second Chronicles 7, verse 14 and 15. Teshuva before Damasek becomes a heap of ruins. Amen. Tercera lección. Estamos provocando su ira ahora, Yermiyahu 17. Yermiyahu 7, del 17 al 19, o se están provocando a sí mismos, a su propia ruina. El mensaje de Yermiyahu, Jeremías 25, del 4 al 7, fue siempre, todos ustedes regresen. Segunda, segundo libro de crónicas 7 del 14 al 15 Teshuva antes que Damasco se convierta en ruinas Amen Let's Amen. get ready for the lesson Turn in your Bibles to the Gospel of Mark please Vamos en la, eh, a la escritura al libro de Marcos Mark chapter 13 Marcos 13 As I said earlier the, this is a very um, profound lesson today como lo dije en anterior, esta es una lección muy profunda para el día de hoy. We have a lot of events that are going on in the world. Tenemos muchos eventos que están aconteciendo alrededor del mundo. And if our God, the God of all creation, is on his throne, which he is. Y si nuestro Dios, el Rey de toda la creación, está en su trono y lo está. He does nothing in secret. Él no hace nada en secreto. You must read your Bible as if you are Jewish. Deberías de leer tu Biblia como si fueras un judío. But not just Jewish. Pero no solo un judío. Somebody who loves Jehovah. Alguien que ama Jehová. He loves us. Él nos ama. He gave his son to die for us. Él nos entregó a su hijo para que muriera en lugar nuestro. But when the stink from earth reaches heaven, pero cuando el mal olor de la tierra eh, sube a los cielos, Jehovah has to act. Y Jehovah tiene que actuar. If he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for their sin, si él destruyó a Sodoma y Gomorra por su pecado, he is showing us things that are going on around the world and in his promised land, Israel. Él no está mostrando cosas que están aconteciendo alrededor del mundo y en su tierra, Israel. We have events that transpired this week. Tenemos algunos eventos que han transcurrido en esta semana that might escalate, que quizás vayan a estar en aumento not just to a regional war, no solamente una guerra regional to another world war. esto va a escalar a otra a una guerra eh, mundial so today we're going to look at a lot of scripture. hoy vamos a estar echando un vistazo a mucha escritura I highly recommend les recomiendo altamente that if you find yourself beginning to nod off a little bit que si te encuentras que te estás adormeciendo un poco I want you to get up and stand in the back. quiero que te, te levantes y que te pares en la parte de atrás Please, for your own eternal soul, do not miss this lesson today. por favor por la salvación de tu alma eterna no, no te pierdas esta lección de hoy We stand at the crossroads. estamos parados en los caminos and we're go through a lot of y vamos a ir a través de mucha escritura What transpired lo que aconteció when Israel bombed 50 targets in Israel last, uh, in Syria last week. Cuando Israel atacó a Siria la semana pasada. What, what happened in the spirit? Lo que aconteció en el espíritu. Consuelo, would you be so kind to sit back near Elizabeth, please, to help her? Because um, our other friend is down at mom's today. 
I don't know if she had surgery, but you're bilingual. That would be great to be there for a backup. Thank you, dear. I don't want, I want this lesson to go out. Yo quiero que esta lección salga. It's for our children. Es para nuestros hijos. It's for our grandchildren. Es para nuestros nietos. It's for the women in our lives. Y para las mujeres en nuestras vidas. Men will be dead. Los hombres van a morir. But the, what's going to happen to the women is absolutely disgusting. Pero lo que le va a pasar a las mujeres va a ser algo realmente desagradable. We stand at the brink of world war. Estamos al borde de una guerra mundial. But there's stages to what is about to happen. Pero hay etapas de lo que está a punto de acontecer. And there is no date on the events. Y no hay fechas para estos eventos. That means we, the true body of Messiah, Eso significa que nosotros, el verdadero cuerpo del Mesías, have the opportunity tenemos la oportunidad to bless our God. de bendecir a nuestro Dios. And if Jehovah is happy, y si Jehová está feliz, if Yeshua is happy, si Yeshua está feliz, if the Ruach HaKodesh is happy, si el Ruach HaKodesh está feliz, then even if there is war, aunque haya guerras, God will save his true worshipers. Dios va a salvar a los a sus verdaderos adoradores. So let's take a look at the words of Messiah himself. Vamos a echarle un vistazo a las palabras mismas del, del Mesías. Mark chapter 13 verses 7 and 8. Marcos 13 del 7 al 8. The gospel of Mark chapter 13 verse 7 and 8. Marcos 13 del 7 al 8. When you hear of noise of wars nearby and news of wars far off, don't Become frightened. Such things must happen. But the end is yet to come. For peoples will fight each other. And nations will fight each other. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. But this, this is but the beginning of birth pains. Amen? Amen. The key is verse 8. La clave es el versículo 8. The end of verse 8. El final del versículo 8. If you have your own Bible, si tienes tu propia Biblia, underline the words birth pains. Por favor, subraya estas palabras dolores de parto. Okay? The key to understanding this. La clave para entender esto is the understanding the birth process. Es entender el proceso de del de dar a luz. The birth process can be short este proceso puede ser corto. Or it can be very long. O puede ser un proceso largo. Robinson Kelly was in labor with Tristan for 36 hours. Eh, la, su esposa estuvo en dolores de parto por 36 horas. Revitz and Veronica just gave birth to Asher. It only took a mere eight hours. Y también la, eh, Revitz and Veronica le tomó eh, esto del parto o oh, casi ocho horas. But while you're going through this birth process, right, ladies? Pero mientras vas a través de este proceso para las damas, it doesn't feel short. Eso no se siente como algo corto. Okay, at the beginning. Es el principio. Let's, let's, let's look at the birth process, everybody. Vamos a mirar este, este proceso. The birth process starts off slowly. Este proceso empieza lentamente. Generally, what happens is the lady will get some minor pains. Generalmente lo que sucede es que la, la mujer va a tener dolores eh, eh, mínimos. It has been described to me as something like a backache. Que se describe como right, un ladies? pequeño dolor en la espalda, ¿verdad que sí? But then, as the process goes further, Pero mientras el proceso se agudiza, then a lot of times the water breaks. entonces muchas veces se rompe la fuente. Y cuando se rompe la fuente es el principio de muchos dolores, ¿verdad que sí? And what's going on, y lo que está aconteciendo, los hombres no entienden esto porque tenemos un cuerpo diferente. The ladies' cervix is different than ours. El área cervical de la mujer es diferente a la, a la nuestra. What is happening with the pain lo que está aconteciendo con el dolor is it's, the cervix begins somewhat like, a little like this es que eh, empieza a eh, abrirse. And what's happening is the muscles are beginning to pull. Y sucede que estos eh, músculos están estrechándose. And making the woman's cervix begin to open up. Eh, haciendo que el, eh, el área cervical de la mujer se abra. And during this process, y, it is extremely painful, right? Y durante este proceso es, es extremadamente doloroso. And during this process, y durante este proceso, the stretching starts out 
with very far apart pain. Estas dilataciones empiezan con, con muchos dolores. Like once every two hours. Cada dos horas. But then as the birth process goes further along, y mientras pasa este proceso del parto, the pain gets closer and closer together. El, el dolor se, se unta y se une más. Because the baby is about to come out to a new life. Porque el, el bebé está a punto de nacer a una nueva vida. But during that process, Pero durante este proceso, the body of the woman does wear down. el cuerpo de la mujer en realidad se desgasta. Especially the longer the process happens, Especialmente si el proceso es largo. Al principio está así, yo soy fuerte. I can do this, right, Mary? Yo puedo hacer esto. But then as it goes along, Pero más adelante, you start to wear down, right ladies? Empiezas a desfallecer. So here look at verse 8 again. Miren el versículo 8 una vez más. For peoples will fight each other and nations will fight each other. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. This is but the beginning of the birth pains. Amen? Amen. You have to understand the birth process. Tienes que entender el proceso del parto. But the birth process started a long time ago. Pero el proceso de parto se empezó hace mucho tiempo. Husband and, and wife get together, get together and they know each other. Yada. <laughs> el esposo y la esposa se unen. And if they're blessed, the Lord fertilizes the egg inside of the woman. Y si son bendecidos, el Señor fertiliza el óvulo dentro de la mujer. And then over that nine months, y, y en esos nueve meses, nine full months, nueve meses completos, okay, I'm going to make sure I always said it, nine <laughs> full months, nueve meses completos, okay, the lady's body changes. El cuerpo de las damas cambia. The baby grows inside the mother. El niño va creciendo dentro del vientre. And then the water starts to surround the baby as the baby grows. Y entonces el agua rodea al bebé mientras él crece. The water is there to protect the baby so nothing happens during that nine months. El agua está ahí para proteger al bebé para que nada le suceda en esos nueve meses. Then when Jehovah says it's time for the birth to happen, entonces cuando Jehová dice que es tiempo para el parto, what happens to most ladies? ¿Qué, lo, qué le sucede a la mayoría de las damas? It happened to Robertson Veronica a little <laughs> over a week ago. Le pasó a Robertson Veronica hace una semana. All that water came flying out of her. Toda esa agua salió de su cuerpo. And then she was like, oh. <laughs> Entonces estaba en gran dolor. She was like, call your father. Llama a tu padre. Call your father. Llama a tu padre. Now I want to, I want to give you an impression of Rabbit. Te van a dar una impresión de Rabbit. Mia and Brittany and Lev are sitting there eating breakfast. Las tres hijas de él estaban comiendo el desayuno. Mia is sitting there eating some toast. Estaban ahí comiendo tostadas. She's eating. <laughs> Rabbit comes up the stairs. Eh, sube Rabino Eduardo. Calm down, everybody. Cálmense todos. <laughs> Calm down. Cálmense. Me is like, okay. Y él está ahí, okay. <laughs> Lev's like, okay, Dad, we're calm. Okay, papá, estamos calmados. Is everything calmados. ready? Todo está preparado. Is everything ready? Todo está preparado. <laughs> Do I get you right? <laughs> está eh, buena la impresión, sí. And Reverend Veronica's in the other room. Eddie! <laughs> Y Robinson Verónica está en el otro aposento. Eddie, Eddie get the bag ready. I think it's time. Eh, prepárate porque creo que ya llegó el tiempo. So once the water broke. Una vez que la fuente se rompió. Once there was a flood. Una vez que hubo una un inundación. The process of the birth began. Empezó el proceso del parto. What happened in Israel two weeks ago? Lo que aconteció en Israel dos semanas atrás. What happened in the desert two weeks ago? ¿Qué pasó en el desierto dos semanas atrás? There was a flood. Había un diluvio. There was so much water Había tanta agua in the desert en el desierto that it washed a minivan with nine children away. Que arrasó una, una camioneta con nueve niños that dentro. That was a lot of water. Esa era mucha agua. Remember the story we brought forth here. ¿Te acuerdas esa historia que traímos en la noticia? Eight of the nine kids in the car died. Ocho de esos nueve niños murieron. That was a lot of water. Esa era mucha agua. Then this past week. Entonces esta semana. Calm down, Brittany. Cálmate. Calm down. Cálmate, Brittany. She's sitting there eating her sandwich. <laughs> okay. 
Once that process happened, una vez que empieza este proceso, the birth began. Empie empieza el parto. Then the next week, entonces la siguiente semana, Israel strikes 50 targets in the country of Syria. Israel atacó es estos uh, 53 lugares en Siria. But everything started with a flood in the wrong season. Pero todo empezó con esta inundación en la temporada equivocada. Let me say that again. Déjame y lo repito. Everything started todo comenzó with a flood in the wrong season. Con una inundación en la época equivocada. This is not the rainy season in Israel. Esta no es la época de llover en Israel. The rainy season happens in the winter. Esta época de lluvia acontece en el invierno. And we know that from the book of Ezra chapter 9 or chapter 10. Y sabemos esto del libro de Ezra 9 o el 10. Because it says it's the rainy season and that's around Hanukkah time. Porque dice que es la temporada de las lluvias y eso era alrededor de Hanukkah. Let's look at verse 7 and 8 again. Miremos el versículo 7 y 8. When you hear of noise of wars nearby and news of wars far off, don't become frightened. Such things must happen. But the end is yet to come. For peoples will fight each other and nations will fight each other. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. But this, this is but the beginning of the birth pains. Amen? Amen. Birth pains can last a long time. Do, los dolores de parto pueden tener una larga duración. Okay. What happened, like I said, with my wife, Robinson Kelly? Lo que pasó con su esposa. That was a pretty long time to give birth, 36 hours. Eso fue un largo tiempo para dar a luz. Fueron 36 horas. And still in the end, Tristan had to come out through the window. <laughs> y al final, Tristan tuvieron que sacarlo por la ventana. Because he was too big to fit through the canal. Porque él era muy grande para salir a través del canal. Asher, on the other hand, pero Asher, eh, por otra parte, he just popped out. Él salió. <laughs> I want to give you an impression of Connie. Quiere él darte una impresión de Connie. When she was giving birth to Elisheva. <laughs> Cuando ella estaba dando a luz a Elisheva. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a difficult process. Es un proceso difícil. But the reason we're talking about this is for joy. Pero la razón por la cual estamos hablando de esto es por regocijo. But also. Pero también. Yeshua uses this term, birth pain. Yeshua utilizó este, este termo, término para su, su dolor. So we have to understand what he is talking about Entonces nosotros tenemos que entender de lo que él está hablando. If we're going to understand prophecy. Si vamos a entender la profecía. Because if you've never been part of a birth. Porque si nunca has sido parte de un parto. Like a lot of men are in the waiting room. <laughs> Como muchos eh, hombres que están esperando en el, en el área de de descanso, de espera. A lot of de men descanso. are really wimps. Eh, muchos hombres realmente son cobardes. I've had <laughs> So many men pass out on me when I was delivering children. Muchas eh, hombres se desmayaron mientras eh, like, eh, oh no, get him a chair. <laughs> Búsquenle una silla. He's turning green. Se está ahí volviendo de color verde. You see dad start to do this. <laughs> Entonces empiezan a marear. You think he was having the baby. Tú pensarías que él estaba eh, teniendo el niño. Women in many regards, men are much stronger than us. <laughs> Las mujeres en muchas áreas son mucho más fuertes que los hombres. But we all, we should complement one another. Pero deberíamos de complementarnos el uno con el otro. But what we need to understand is why Yeshua used the term birth pero lo que necesitamos entender es por qué Yeshua usó estas palabras de dolores de parto. Look at verse 7, please. Miren el versículo 7. When you hear of noise of wars nearby and news of wars far off, don't become frightened. Such things must happen, but the end is yet to come. Amen. Amen. Okay, most people that don't know how to read this Jewish book, la eh, algunas personas que no saben leer este libro judío, they think that Jesus can come back at any moment. Ellos creen que Jesús puede regresar en cualquier momento. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Esa es una mentira del abismo del infierno. Yeshua cannot come back until other prophecies happen first. Yeshua no puede regresar al menos que se cumplan otras profecías. Yeshua will not come back. Yeshua no regresará until the third temple is built. Hasta que el tercer templo sea levantado. And that's found in the book of Daniel. Y eso se encuentra en el libro de Daniel. Yeshua will not come back. Yeshua no regresará until those first offerings happen. 
hasta que pase, eh, se establezcan las primeras ofrendas. And seven years goes by. Y pasen siete años. Three and a half years of peace. Tres años y medio de paz. And three and a half years of horrible times. Y tres años y medio muy terribles. That's when Yeshua will come back. Ahí es cuando Yeshua regresará. That's why he said in verse seven. Por eso es que él dice en el versículo siete. But the end is yet to come. Pero aún no es el fin. Look at verse 7 and 8 again, please. Miren el versículo 7 y 8. When you hear of, no when you hear of noise of wars for nearby and news of wars far off, don't become frightened. Such things must happen, but the end is yet to come. For peoples will fight each other, and nations will fight each other. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. This is but the beginning of birth pains. Amen? Amen. Why did Yeshua say the beginning? Porque Yeshua dice el principio. He says nation versus nation. Él dice nación contra nación. People versus people. Pueblos contra pueblos. So we got, what is the difference between a nation and a people? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una nación y un pueblo? A nation is like a nation called America. La nación es como la nación de Estados Unidos, América. A nation is something called like Guatemala. Eh, la nación es como Guatemala. Or Mexico, or Britain. O México o Gran Bretaña. Those are nations. Esas son naciones. But in most translation it says kingdom versus kingdom. Pero en la mayoría de las traducciones dice reino contra reino. What is kingdom versus kingdom? ¿Qué es reino contra reino? The kingdom of our God. El reino de nuestro Dios. Against the kingdom of this world. A en contra del reino de este mundo. And against the kingdom of Islam. En contra del reino del Islam. The king of paganism. El reino del paganismo. But Yeshua said the end is yet to come. Pero Yeshua dice aún no es el fin. Why is that important? Porque eso es importante. Hold your place there in the Gospel of Mark. Mantén tu lugar en Marcos. Turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 6, please. Vamos a Apocalipsis 6. Revelation 6, please. Apocalipsis 6. Revelation 6, verse 1 through 8. Del 1 al 8. Revelation 6. Revelaciones, Apocalipsis 6. Verse 1 through 8. Del 1 al 8. This section is called, You Have Been Weighed. Esta sección se titula, um, You Have Been Weighed, Ha like sido pesado. Okay. Ha sido puesto en balance. Revelation 6. Revelación 6. Verse 1 through 8. Del 1 al 8. Next I watched as the lamb broke the first of seven seals. I heard one of the four living beings say in a thunderous voice, go. And he looked and there in front of me was a white horse. Its rider had a bow, was given a crown. He rode off as a conqueror to conquer. When he broke the second seal, I heard the second living being say, Go! Another horse went out, a red one, and its rider was given the power to take peace away from the earth and make people slaughter each other. He was given a great sword. When he, bro when he, when he, then, when he broke the third seal, I heard the living being say, Go! I looked in there, in the front of me was a black horse, its rider held in his hand a pair of scales. Then I heard what sounded like a voice from the four living beings saying, two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, six pounds of barley for the same price, but don't damage the oil or the wine. When he broke the fourth seal, I heard the voice, the fourth living being say, go. I looked, and there in front of me was a pallid, sickly-looking horse. Its rider, rider's name was Death, and Sheol followed him. They were given authority to kill one quarter of the world by war, by famine, by plagues, with the wild animals of the earth. Amen? Amen. Let's take a look at this to understand what, the, what Yeshua meant. Vamos a echarle un vistazo a esto para entender lo que Yeshua eh, quería decir. Because he said in in Mark, Porque él dijo en Marcos, the end is yet to come. el final no en, está por venir. There are stages to God's 
prophecy. Hay etapas para la profecía de Dios. Write down there are stages to God's prophecy. Escríbelo, hay etapas para la profecía de Dios. There are stages to God's prophecy. Hay pro, uh, etapas para la profecía de Dios. There are stages to God's prophecy. Hay etapas para la profecía de Dios. Revelation 6 verse 1 and 2 again, please. Revelación 6 el 1 y el 2, por favor. Next I watched as the lamb broke the first of seven seals. I heard one of the four living beings saying a thundering voice, Go! I looked and there in front of me was a white horse. And its rider had a bow and was given a crown. And he rode off as a conqueror to conquer. Amen? Amen. So now we first need to look at this first seal. Ahora eh, necesitamos mirar este primer sello. Has the first seal been opened? Ha sido abierto este primer sello. Well, once you understand conqueror to conquer The answer is yes. Una vez que entienda, salió para conquistar y, y con, uh, para conquistador y para conquistar, entenderás. The first seal has been opened. El primer sello ya ha sido abierto. And to understand the first seal. Y para entender el primer sello. And why, it, to prove that it has been opened. Y para comprobar que ha sido abierto. Hold your place there in Revelation. Mantén tu lugar ahí en Revelaciones. Turn to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28. Vamos a Deuteronomio 28. Verse 49 and 50. Del 49 hasta el 50. Hold your place in Revelation. Mantén tu lugar en Apocalipsis. Turn to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28. Vamos a Deuteronomio 28. Verse 49 and 50. 49 y 50. This is called Conqueror to Conquer. Este se titula Los Invasores se Pondrán de Acuerdo. Revel, uh, Deuteronomy 28, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomio 28. Verse 49 and 50. 49 y 50. This is part of the plagues. Esto es, es parte de las plagas. Have we got it, Claudia? Praise God. Yes, Jehovah will bring against you a nation from far away that will swoop down on you from the ends of the earth like a vulture. A nation whose language you don't understand, a nation grim in appearance, whose people neither respect the old nor pity the young. Amen? Amen. The key to this is verse 50. La clave para esto es el versículo 50. Let's read verse 50 again. Leámoslo una vez más. A nation grim in appearance, whose people neither respect the old nor pity the young. Amen? Amen. This is the nation of Islam. Esta es la nación del Islam. They don't Respect the old at all. Ellos no respetan al anciano del todo. They don't pity the young at all. No tienen misericordia tampoco del niño. They don't respect women at all. No respetan las mujeres. And nobody knows their language because we don't care. Y nadie eh, sabe su eh, idioma porque no nos importa. You learned English around the globe. Why? Aprendes inglés alrededor mundial. ¿Por qué? Because you wanted to do business with the Americans. Porque quieres hacer negocios con los americanos. Why doesn't anybody learn Arabic? Porque nadie aprende el idioma árabe. Because there's nothing that the Arabs have except oil that I want. Porque ellos no tienen nada que querramos excepto el, el, el combustible, they petróleo. Do, they do not respect anybody. Ellos no respetan a nadie. There are no-go zones where you can't go into. <laughs> They're called no-go. Sí, hay zonas que no se, pueden, no se pueden entrar. All throughout Germany. Eh, todo esto alrededor de Alemania. There are places that Germans cannot go in their own country. Hay lugares en Alemania donde los propios alemanes no pueden entrar. Because these people that don't respect anybody. Porque estas personas que no respetan a nadie. Are all over Germany like a bunch of cockroaches. Están todo eh, por todo Alemania como cucarachas. There are places in Italy that you cannot go anymore. Hay lugares en Italia donde no puedes entrar. There are places in Greece y también en Grecia that you cannot go to anymore que ya no puedes entrar ahí más because they are overrun with the people God said I'm going to bring. Porque esta gente que Dios dijo que iba a traer se han apoderado de estos lugares. While on the ride over here this morning to the congregation y aquí mientras venía la congregación esta mañana Rebbitz and Kelly was telling me about this man called Bob Cottrell eh, Revisión Kelly me estaba eh, hablando de este hombre, Bob Cottrell, who is a Australian, que es un australiano. Australian, a few years, Australia, a few years ago, Australia, un par de años atrás, said that they were a Christian nation. Dije, declararon que eran una nación cristiana. Not anymore. Ya no lo son más. This man, Bob Cottrell, este hombre, 
Lives in a small town outside of Sydney, Australia. Vive en una en un pueblo pequeño a las afueras de Australia. Okay, and they're being overrun with these people that don't respect anybody. Esta ciudad está siendo siendo apoderada por estas personas que no respetan a nadie. Called Muslims. Se llama musulmanes. And Bob Cattrall wanted the government to stop bringing them in. Y este hombre quería que el gobierno detu se detuviera de traer estos hombres. In Australia, you cannot speak against Islam. En Australia, no puedes hablar en contra del Islam. But he, this man, Bob Cattrall, Pero este hombre had a gathering. Tuvo una reunión. And he thought that he could maybe get a few thousand people. Y quizá, y pensó que quizás podría juntar unas eh, miles de personas. One hundred thousand people showed up. 100,000 personas aparecieron ahí. To tell the government we don't want this anymore. Para de decirle al gobierno que no querían ya más esto. But instead of stopping Islam, Pero en vez de detener el Islam, what did the Australian government do? ¿Qué hizo el gobierno australiano? They threw Mr. Cottrell into jail for speaking against Islam. E metieron a este hombre a la cárcel por hablar en contra del Islam. What did it say in Revelation 6? ¿Qué eh, que leímos en Revelación 6? Conqueror to conquer. Invasores se pondrán de acuerdo. They've conquered without firing one bullet at an army. Invaden sin disparar un solo tiro. In London, you cannot go to London anymore. También en, Lo en Londres, ya no puedes entrar en Londres. England, which has the strictest gun laws, has the highest rate of murder in the world. En Inglaterra, eh, tiene eh, aumentado los asesinatos altamente. This is not a European problem. Este no es un problema europeo. This problem is also going on in South America. Este problema también está pasando en América del Sur. In Brazil. También en Brasil. All throughout South America. A través de todo Sudamérica. And all throughout Central America. Y también en Centroamérica. In Mexico, en México, the cartels are being purchased by the Muslims. Los carteles están vendiendo a los musulmanes. And Martin is in the back going absolutely right. Y Martín está de acuerdo. In Sweden, you cannot go outside without your head covered if you're a blonde-haired woman. Where? Sweden. También en Suiza no puedes ir afuera sin estar con el pelo cubierto. Suiza. Suecia. En Suecia. Suecia. Yeah. You think it's not happening here? ¿Tú crees que no está aconteciendo aquí? There is a place in Pennsylvania. Hay un lugar en Pennsylvania. That is less than two hours from here. Que es eh, menos de dos horas de aquí. Called Islamicburg. Se llama eh, Islamicburg. It's, it's a made-up name. <laughs> es un nombre fabricado. The police don't even go there. Ni la policía entra ahí. In Minnesota this week. En Minnesota en esta semana. One of the towns voted to put Sharia law. Una de las ciudades votaron para instalar las leyes de Sharia. And we paid for it. Y pagamos por eso. How many people like uh, Sharboni yogurt? ¿Cuántas, per ¿cuántas personas le gusta este yo yogurt? Shabani. Shoba Shobani. 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 Don't ever buy that product ever again. Ya no compres más ese producto. Because it's owned by a Muslim. Porque los dueños son musulmanes. The town is overrun by Muslims. Esta, esta ciudad está siendo gobernada por los musulmanes. Let's go back to Revelation. Volvamos a Revelación. Revelation 6, verse 1 and 2. Apocalipsis 6, 1 y 2. Revelation 6, verse 1 and 2. Apocalipsis 6, 1 y 2. You learning anything so far? ¿Han aprendido algo hasta ahora? Revelation 6, verse 1 and 2. Revelación 6, 1 y 2. Next I watched as the Lamb broke the first of seven seals and I heard one of the four living beings saying a thundering voice, Go! I looked and there in front of me was a white horse. Its rider had a bow and was given a crown to, and he rode off as a conqueror to conquer. Amen? Amen. So has this seal been opened? Eh, ha sido abierto este sello? Has this seal been opened? Este sello ha sido abierto? Absolutely it has been opened. Absolutamente ha sido abierto. England is no longer England. Ya Inglaterra no es más Inglaterra. London, the capital of England. Y Londres, la capital de Inglaterra. Is being run by a Muslim mayor who hates Christians. Está siendo gobernado por este alcalde que odia a los cristianos. Germany. Alemania. Where German men can't even drink beer. Donde los alemanes, los hombres alemanes no pueden beber cerveza. They had a fight over Oktoberfest. <laughs> Tuvieron una lucha acerca de este festival en octubre. What happened to all the German men? ¿Qué pasó con todos los hombres alemanes? They've been conquered. Han sido conquistados. 
So this first seal has been opened. Este primer sello ha sido abierto. Let's look at verse 3 and 4, please. Miremos el versículo 3 y 4. When he broke the second seal, I heard the second living being saying, Go! Another horse went out, a red one. And its rider was given power to take peace away from the earth and make people slaughter each other. He was given a great sword. Amen? Amen. Take Amen. The key here is to take peace away from the earth. La clave aquí es que quitaran la paz de la tierra. You don't go outside of your home in Sweden. Ya en Suecia no sales fuera de tu hogar. You don't go into certain areas in Germany. No vas a ciertas áreas de Alemania. Unless you're a Muslim. Al menos que no seas un musulmán. You don't, Christians are non-existent in the Middle East. Ya los cristianos no existen en el Medio Oriente. For 2,000 years we've been there. Por 2,000 años hemos estado ahí. And now we're gone. Y ahora ya no estamos más. Do you think the second seal has been opened? Entonces, ¿crees que el segundo sello ha sido abierto? Absolutely. Absolutamente. You go through South, you go through Mexico. Te vas a México. The cartels are taking over everything even more than they did before. Los carteles están apoderando de todo, incluso más que antes. They have murdering all going on through Mexico every day. Hay muchos asesinatos que están aconteciendo todos los días. This is not something positive, it's esto, negative. Esto no es positivo, esto es negativo. Look at verse 4. Miren el versículo 4. Another horse went out, to, a red one, and its rider was given the power to take away, take away from the earth and make people slaughter each other. And was given a great sword, amen? Amen. Antisemitism el antisemitismo is at an all-time worldwide high. Está altamente en aumento alrededor mundial. In France, you don't go out looking like me. En Francia, si luces como yo, no sales afuera. Unless you're carrying a baseball bat. Al menos que no lleves un bate de pelota. And a few nunchucks or something like that. Y algo para defenderte. Or a, a gun if you have one. O una pistola si tienes una. Jewish people are being murdered in France. Because they're Jews. Los judíos están siendo asesinados en Francia porque son judíos. All through the Middle East, Jews are being murdered. At, uh, por el Medio Oriente, los judíos están siendo asesinados. In Germany, you don't go out as a Jew in certain areas. En Alemania, no sales como un judío a ciertas áreas. The second seal has been opened worldwide. El segundo sello ha sido abierto alrededor mundial. And it's not just there. Y no es solo allá. You can't go outside in Canada as a Jew. No puedes salir fuera en Canadá como judío. They've had over a thousand and anti-Semitic acts already this year. Tuvieron muchos eventos antisemíticos en este año. Peace has been taken from the world. La paz ha sido quitada del mundo. Let's go to verse 5. Vamos al versículo 5. When he broke the third seal, I heard the living, third living being say, Go! I looked and there in front of me was a black horse. And its rider held in his hand a pair of scales. Amen? Amen. This is where we are right Aquí now. Es donde estamos hasta este punto. The earth is being weighed. La tierra está siendo pesada. Nations are being weighed. Y las naciones. People are being weighed. Y las personas. Families are being weighed. Y las familias. When Yeshua said, I'm going to separate the sheep from the goats. Cuando Yeshua dijo, voy a separar las ovejas he's de los put, cabritos. He's putting you on a scale to see where you end up. Te está poniendo en una balanza a ver dónde vas a terminar. Now, during this process, Durante este proceso of the third seal, del tercer sello, what is going on? ¿qué es lo que está aconteciendo? You have to think of this as a chess match. Tienes que pensar en esto como si se tratara de una partida de ajedrez. What God is doing lo que Dios está haciendo is moving pieces around his chessboard. está moviendo las piezas de su ajedrez. Do you know where that chessboard is? ¿Sabes dónde está one? esta tabla de ajedrez? Could you go get it? ¿Puedes buscarla? What God is doing, lo que Dios está haciendo what God is doing, lo que Dios está haciendo is he's moving the pieces to where he needs them to be. Él está moviendo las piezas hacia donde Él quiere que We're estén. We're going to have a visual in a minute because I forgot it. Vamos a ver esto visualmente en un minuto. What you have to do is set up your board first. Lo que tienes que hacer es arreglar tu tabla de ajedrez primero. And once things are set up, y una vez que las cosas estén establecidas, then you move your pieces. Entonces mueve tus piezas. One by one. Una por una. And once you move one piece, y una vez que tú muevas una pieza, but you move your pieces with a plan. 
tienes que mover tu, a tus piezas con un plan. Look at verse five again, please. Miren el versículo 5. When he broke the third seal, I heard the third living being say, Go. I looked and there in front of me was a black horse and its rider was rider held in his hand a pair of scales. Amen. Amen. So what the Lord is doing Lo que el Señor está haciendo, is he's setting up the battle. Él está arreglando el área de batalla. He's putting his pieces where he needs to have them. Él está poniendo las piezas donde él necesita tenerlas. But you have to think of this prophecy as a chess match. Tienes que pensar en esta profecía como un partido de ajedrez. And this is Jehovah playing against Satan. Y este es Jehová que está aquí jugando en contra de Hasatán. He's playing a game against Hasatán. Él está jugando este juego en contra de Satán. And we y nosotros, are the chess pieces. Nosotros somos las piezas del the, juego. The people of the earth are the chess pieces. Las personas del mundo son las piezas. Things are getting set up. Las cosas están arreglando. For the birth para el parto and the reign of Yeshua for 1000 years y el reino de Yeshua por mil años he's setting his board up él está eh, poniendo todo en juego but before these things happen before Yeshua's 1000 year reign pero antes de que esto acontezca el reinado de Yeshua por mil años before the birth of that 1000 year reign antes del parto de este reino de mil años before that happens antes de que eso suceda there has to be a lot of pain and suffering. Debe de venir mucho dolor y sufrimiento. Why? ¿Por qué? Why does there have to be pain and suffering? ¿Por qué tiene que haber dolor y sufrimiento? Because Yeshua said in the Gospel of Mark, what? ¿Por qué? Porque Yeshua dijo en Marcos, ¿qué? What did he say? ¿Qué fue lo que dijo? This is the beginnings of birth pains. Este es el principio de los dolores de parto. What does the scale represent, everybody? ¿Qué, qué representa la balanza? What does the scale represent? ¿Qué representa la balanza? Represents the sheep representa las ovejas and the goats. y los cabritos. He's separating, he's putting things on a scale. Él lo está separando, los está poniendo en la balanza. So which part of the scale do you come out on? ¿En qué parte de la balanza vas a estar tú? He's weighing each nation. Él está pesando la nación. Each family. Cada familia. Each person. Cada persona. See, when people if we work together ves cuando las personas nos unimos if we as a group of people si como un grupo de personas if there are ten people si, God, God said to Abraham I would not destroy the city si hubiesen diez justos le dijo Dios a Abraham no destruiré la ciudad so he's weighing the people él está pesando a, a las personas the family las familias the state el estado the nation la nación the hemisphere la atmósfera and the world y el mundo Because why? ¿Por qué? Because Yeshua said. Porque Yeshua dijo. This is the beginning. Ese es el principio. Of birth pains. De los dolores de parto. At first, what is the, what happens with the labor pains? Qué es lo que sucede primero en los dolores de parto? They come once every two, three hours, right? Eh, vienen que eh, las contracciones right? Right, de cada dos horas. Every couple hours, right? It starts off. Whoa. Cada par de horas vienen. You know, like you're walking all of a sudden, like. <laughs> Estás caminando y ahí vienen. And Rebbitz and Kelly grabbed my arm. Y, no. y la, su esposa él lo agarraba de la mano. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> no, the little one won't be seen. I thought the, I, I, the big one's on this, on the shelf. Okay, anyway. Sigamos. The first part of the labor pains are very far apart. La primera parte de los dolores de parto son, eh, vienen por separado. Here, bring that up here. Do you need that table over there? No, you could use it. Okay. Oh, this is my chest set. Thank you. Thank you. This is my chest set. What God is doing right now. Lo que Dios está haciendo ahora mismo. With what's going on in the world. Lo que está aconteciendo alrededor mundial. Is he setting up. Él está ahí arreglando. His chest set su tabla de ajedrez <laughs> And all the pieces are messed up right now. Y todas las piezas están desordenadas ahora mismo. So what God is going to do? Lo que Dios va a hacer. He's going to find his pieces. Él va a encontrar sus piezas. He's going to set up one thing on one side. Va a arreglar a unos en un en un lado. And then set up on the other side. Y también va a arreglar los del otro lado. He's going to get his 
lions ready. Él va a preparar a sus leones. He's gonna get his bishops ready. Y también a sus oh, otras piezas. <coughs> obispos, obispos. He's gonna get his watchmen on the tower ready. Y también a la atalaya que está en la torre. But while he's doing that, pero mientras está haciendo esto, with these pieces, con estas piezas. Satan is also Satanás también. Because God said, "Go." Dios le dice, "Ve." So Satan is setting up his bishops. Satanás también está arreglando su juego. He's setting up them on both sides of his board. Los está estableciendo ahí a su al lado de la tabla. Satan is setting up his queen. Él está ahí arreglando a su reina. Because remember in the book of Revelation we have the Jezebel spirit. Porque acuérdate que en el libro de Revelaciones tenemos el espíritu de Jezabel. So God is setting up his chess board. Dios está arreglando su tabla de de ajedrez. But when in chess pero en el ajedrez Certain pieces can move a bunch of spaces, muchas piezas se pueden mover varios espacios but they can only go in one direction. pero solo pueden ir en una sola dirección the castle can go straight, el castillo puede ir derecho or to the side, o a los lados but it can't go both at the same time. pero no puede ir en ambas cosas a la misma vez so when you're setting up your, your board, cuando estás arreglando tu tabla You have to think of yourself as a pawn in God's game. <laughs> the littlest piece. Tienes que pensarte de ti mismo que eres la pieza más pequeña. The littlest piece in God's board. La pieza más pequeña en la tabla de Dios. And all you can do is move one step at a time. Y todo lo que puedes hacer es moverte un paso a la vez. This is why Yeshua said, "Sígueme, follow me." Es por eso que Yeshua dice, "Sígueme." But God is setting up his board right now. Porque Dios está arreglando su tabla ahora mismo. He's putting his pieces in place. Él está poniendo todas las piezas en regla. He said, and Satan is also getting ready to do what he needs to do. Y Satanás también se está preparando para hacer lo que él tiene que hacer. Because Satan is also a tool that God uses. Porque Satanás es también un instrumento que Dios usa. See, when we kick God out of our house, cuando sacamos a Dios de nuestros hogares, when we don't worship him in spirit and in truth, cuando no lo adoramos en espíritu y en verdad, he gives you over to the bad guys. Él te entrega a los malos. The queen. A la reina. The evil queen. <laughs> a esta reina malvada. <laughs> <laughs> And she moves everywhere. She can move any which any direction. Ella se puede mover a cualquier dirección. Because we've given her the power. Porque le hemos entregado el poder. We'll come back to this in a moment. Regresaremos a esto en un minuto. You getting the picture now? Estás entendiendo la imagen? You're pretty interesting what God showed me yesterday, huh? Es muy interesante lo que Dios me mostró He's ayer. He's moving his, his, his pieces in place. Él está poniendo las piezas en su lugar. But this is why Yeshua said it's like labor pain. Por eso es que Yeshua dijo que es como dolores de parto. It starts out small. Empieza eh, mínimo. In your chess match, you have to start out small. En este juego de ajedrez empiezas pe eh, pe pequeño, mínimo. And then the pains get closer together. Entonces eh, se acercan y se acercan los dolores. As the pieces on the chessboard get cl closer together. Como las piezas del ajedrez se van acercando eh, juntas. Then as the labor gets closer to the birth. Entonces cuando eh, este parto se acerca al nacimiento. The pain gets stronger. El dolor se aumenta. And the, the pain also lasts longer, right ladies? Y también es más largo el dolor. Right ladies? ¿Verdad it, it, que sí? Right Elizabeth? Yes. <laughs> yes, she says. Sí. And then that's when when it's closer. Entonces cuando se acerca. That's when the strength is truly needed. Ahí es cuando se necesita realmente la fortaleza. Well, this event of the birth is happening. Pero este evento de evento del parto está aconteciendo. Things that have to get set up for the actual birth to occur. Las cosas deben de ser puestas en su lugar para que ocurra el, na el nacimiento. While Rebecca and Veronica were saying the baby's coming. Mientras Rebecca and Veronica estaba diciendo que el, el bebé va a nacer. It started off at 8 o'clock in the morning. Empezó a las 8 de la mañana. Okay. Then she's in the, the, the delivery room. Entonces está ahí en el área de parto. And the doctor is like, oh, you got a few more minutes. Y los doctores le decían, aún tienes unos minutos. He was, he was putting on his gloves. Él se estaba poniendo los guantes. And Asher was halfway out. Y ya Asher estaba eh, la mitad del cuerpo afuera. Okay, <laughs> so things have to get set up for the, the birth to, time to arrive. 
Las cosas deben de ser arregladas para que ocurra lo del nacimiento. But as the birth gets closer, Pero mientras se acerca el nacimiento, the pain gets more powerful, el dolor se aumenta and the pain gets longer. y es más largo. Now let's look at verse seven and eight. Ahora miremos el versículo 7 y 8. Revelation 6, verse 7 and 8. Apocalipsis 6, del 7 al 8. When he broke the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living being say, Go. I looked. And there in front of me was a pallid, sickly looking horse. Its rider na rider's name was Death, and she all followed behind him. They were given authority to kill one quarter of the world by war, by famine, by plagues, and with the wild animals of the earth. Amen? Amen. Four things happened. Cuatro cosas acontecieron. In the fourth seal. En el cuarto sello. Four things happened. Cuatro cosas acontecieron. Write down war. Escribe guerra. War. Guerra. Famine. Hambruna. Plague. Plaga. And wild animals. Y animales salvajes. War. Guerra. Famine. Hambruna. Plague. Plaga. Wild animals. Animales salvajes. Let's look at the fourth one. Miremos a este cuarto. What is the fourth one? ¿Cuál es este cuarto? Wild animals. Animales salvajes. There was a news story this week. Hubo una, una noticia en esta semana. Happening in the country of India. India. Que, que aconteció en la India. The wild dogs are attacking the children. Estos perros salvajes están a, atacando a los niños. All throughout northwest India. A, a través de todo el eh, norte y sur de India. All the wild dogs have gone crazy. Todos estos perros salvajes se han enloquecido. They're taking small children and eating them. Están arrebatando niños pequeños y se los están comiendo. That's the fourth part of the plague. Esa es la cuarta parte de las plagas. What's the third part of the plague? ¿Cuál es la tercera parte? What's the third part? ¿Cuál es la tercera? Plague. Las plagas. Okay. What did we read about in the news before service? ¿Qué leímos en la noticia dura, eh, antes del servicio? What, what is happening in Africa again? ¿Qué está aconteciendo en África? Ebola. Ebola. That's a pretty bad uh, disease, right? You would consider it a plague, right? Esa es una enfermedad muy mala, la considerarías una plaga. What else is happening around the globe? ¿Qué más está aconteciendo? People are getting syphilis. Las personas están eh, contrayendo sífilis. But it is a sexually transmitted disease. Pero es una enfermedad de transmisión sexual. You can only get it by not being monogamous with your, your wife or your husband. Eso solamente lo obtienes al, al estar teniendo múltiples parejas. But this time they don't have any antibiotics to stop it, so you're dying from it. Pero esta vez no tienen antibióticos para eh, contraatacar, así what, que puedes morir de ella. What is the second part of the fourth seal? ¿Cuál es la segunda parte del uh, cuarto sello? What is the second part of the fourth seal? ¿Cuál es la segunda parte del cuarto second sello? Part. La segunda parte. Famine. Hambruna. What's going on right now in South Africa? ¿Qué está aconteciendo ahora mismo en África del Sur? What's going on in South Africa right now? ¿Qué está aconteciendo en África del Sur ahora They mismo? They have no water. No tienen agua. Zero water. Sequía. It hasn't rained in two years in South Africa. No ha llovido por lo menos por dos años. They've run out of water, so there's a famine going on. No hay agua, ahora tienen hambruna. They're mo they have to buy food from other nations. Tienen que comprar alimento de otras naciones. Why? ¿Por qué? Because they have no rain to grow their own food. Porque no tienen lluvia para crecer sus propios alimentos. And what is the first part of the fourth seal? ¿Y cuál es la primera parte del cuarto sello? War. Guerra. War. Guerra. Remember, Yeshua said the end is yet to come. Acuérdate que Yeshua dijo que el fin está por venir. In the Gospel of Mark that we read, the end is yet to come. En el Evangelio de Marcos que leímos, el fin está there por is, venir. There is an order to everything that Jehovah does. Hay un orden para todo lo que Jehovah hace. He has to follow his prophetic word. Él tiene que seguir su palabra profética. Chess pieces must be put in place. Las, las piezas del ajedrez deben de ser puestas en sus lugares antes que Dios se mueva a la siguiente parte de la profecía Now, when you're playing chess, ahora cuando estás jugando ajedrez you have to have a strategy to win the game. tienes que tener una estrategia para ganar el juego okay. Chess is not a physical game. El ajedrez no es un juego físico. It is a mental game. Es un juego mental. You have to be mentally ready 
for this war. Tiene que estar capacitado mentalmente para esta guerra. You have to have a strategy to beating your enemy. Tienes que tener una estrategia para vencer a tus enemigos. You have to move piece by piece to achieve your victory. Tienes que mover pieza a pieza para conquistar tu victoria. Go now to Yeshiahu, Isaiah 17. Vamos a Yeshiahu, Isaías 17. Isaiah 17. Isaías 17. Everybody want to keep listening to this lesson? Todos quieren seguir escuchando esta lección. Isabel, you want to keep listening? <laughs> I guess not. You go okay back there, Felix? Isaiah 17, Isaías 17, verse 1, 2, and 3. Del 1 al 3. This part is called Damascus has stopped being a city. Esta parte se titula Damasco ha dejado de ser una ciudad. When you got it, say amen. Cuando lo tengan, digan amen. Wait for the rookie over here. <laughs> When in doubt, it's in the 700s. Isaiah 17. 462. Verse 1, 2, and 3. Versículo 1, 2, y 3. This is a prophecy about Damascus. Damascus The cities of Aroer will be abandoned, given over to the flocks, lying down undisturbed. Ephraim will have no defenses. Damascus will cease to rule. And our arms, survivors, will share the fate of Israel's finest. So Jehovah says Jehovah Sivod. Amen? Amen. Now, in verse 1, Ahora en el versículo uno, it said Damascus or Damascus will soon stop being a city. Dice que eh, Damasco dejará de ser una ciudad. Now, what's important about that? ¿Qué es lo importante acerca de esto? Well, Damascus has been a city for almost three thousand years. Damasco ha sido una ciudad alrededor de tres mil años. Hold your place there. Mantengan su lugar ahí. Turn to Bereshit Genesis 14, please. Va vamos a Génesis 14. Hold your place in Isaiah. Mantén tu lugar en Isaías. Back to the beginning, go to Genesis 14. Bereshit. Vamos a Génesis 14. Verse 14 and 15. 14 y 15. Genesis 14, hold your place in Isaiah. Génesis 14. Verse 14 and 15. 14 y 15. When, Abra Abra when Abram heard that his nephew had been taken captive, he let out his trained men <clears throat> who had been born in his house. 318 of them went out and pursued as far as Dan. During the night, he and his servants divided his forces against them, then attacked and pursued them all the way to Hovah, north of Damasek. Amen. 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 The reason we look at this. La razón por la cual estamos mirando this is esto. Our law, this is our loafer. Esta es nuestra ley de primera referencia. Okay, this is the, the first time we see the word Damascus in the scripture. Es la primera vez que vemos la palabra Damasco en la escritura. Damascus has been a, a continually inhabited city since the time of Abraham. Ella ha sido una ciudad habitada desde el tiempo de Abraham. Actually, not even Abraham. Abraham. De Abraham. So it was before he was Abraham. Antes de que él fuese Abraham. So there's something about this city. Hay algo que sucede con esta ciudad. That it has always had people in it. Que siempre ha tenido habitantes en ella. It has always been a city, so there's been a lot of people in it. Siempre ha sido una ciudad, siempre ha habido muchas personas viviendo ahí. All the way back 3,000 or more years ago. Hace algunos 3,000 años atrás. Now go back to Isaiah 17. Ahora regresemos a Isaías 17. Isaiah 17. Isaías 17. Verse 1, 2, and 3 again. 1, 2, y 3, una vez más. This is a prophecy about Damasek. Damasek will soon stop being a city. It will become a heap of ruins. The cities of Aroer will be abandoned, given over to the flocks, lying down undisturbed. Ephraim will have no defenses. Damasek will cease to rule. And our, our, our arms, survivors will share the fate of Israel's finest sons, says Jehovah Sivod. Amen? Amen. For da Damascus to become a heap of ruins. Para que eh, Damasco se, eh, se vuelva un montón de ruinas. There has, Yah has to put certain chess pieces in place first. Yah tiene que primeramente arreglar algunas piezas del ajedrez primero. 
for the for the birth of the baby to come. Para que nazca el, be el bebé. Okay. The woman has to start having labor pains first. La mujer tiene que estar teniendo do dolores de parto primero. For our heir to be abandoned. Para que se eh, sea our abandonada. And its flocks to go undisturbed. Y sus rebaños que se dispersen. Chess pieces have to be moved first. Las piezas del ajedrez tienen que ser movidas primero. Okay, what, where does Arrowair? Eh, ¿Dónde está esta ciudad? Arrowair was a city by the river of Arnon. Eh, fue una, una ciudad al lado de Arnon. Okay, now we're not going to turn to it, but I'm going to give you some reference points because there's a lot of stuff we're going to do today. No lo vamos a buscar, pero te voy a dar algunas referencias. Okay, here it was in Deuteronomy 2 verse 36. Deuteronomio 26, uh, 2, 2.26. Okay. Deuteronomy 2, verse 36. Deuteronomio 2.26. That is the reference point of the Arnon uh, River. Ahí está la referencia de este río de Arnon. The city was originally in the hands of the Amorites. Este, esta ciudad estaba en las manos de los Amorreos. Sometimes in the hands of the Moabites. Algunas veces en las manos de los Moabitas. And the, the Ammonites. Y los Amonitas. Okay. It was given by Moses. Eh, fue dada por Moisés. To the Reubenites. A los Reubenitas. Okay. And the Gadites. Y a los de Gad. Okay. Everybody getting this? Eh, todos están... Eh, it started out in Amorites' hands. Eh, empezó en las manos de los uh, um, Amorreos. And in the Moabites' hands. Y los Moabitas. And the reference point of that is Deuteronomy chapter 3. Y en la, la referencia está en Deuteronomio 3. It was then given by Moses, entonces, Moshe, entonces fue entregada por Moisés. To the Reubenites. A los Reubenitas. And the Gadites. Y a los de Gad. But then, who took it? Entonces, ¿quién la tomó? Who took that city? ¿Quién tomó esa ciudad? The Syrians took those cities. Los Sirios. And the reference to that point y la referencia a este punto is 2 Kings chapter 10 verse 33. Es el segundo libro de Reyes. Okay, 2 Kings chapter 10 verse eh, 33. El capítulo tre, eh, 10, 33. We're not going to turn and read all this because we're going to get to some other things first. No vamos a leer todo esto porque vamos a, a, a otras cosas. But I want you to understand Pero quiero que entiendas who is the city of Aroer? ¿Quién es esa ciudad de Arrer? It is in Syria's territory today. Está en el territorio sirio hoy. So here in Isaiah 17, we're talking about the country of Syria. Entonces aquí en Isaías 17 estamos hablando de Siria. Okay, now look at verse 3. Miren el versículo 3. So Isaiah 17, verse 3. Isaías 17, 3. Ephraim will have no defenses. Damascus will cease to rule. And Avram, Aram, Aram's Survivors will be share the fate of Israel's finest sons, says Jehovah Sivot. Amen? Amen. The first step in this chess match La primera parte de este juego de ajedrez is Damasek has to cease to rule. Es que Damasek debe de dejar de gobernar. Aram's survivors es, estos sobrevivientes de Aram, Aram, ha, have to share the fate tienen que eh, tener la misma suerte of Israel's finest sons. que los, eh, los hijos más finos de Israel. ¿Qué significa esto? ¿Qué está diciendo el profeta? What happened to the Israel's finest sons? ¿Qué pasó con estos hijos eh, magníficos o finos de Israel? What happened to the Northern Kingdom? ¿Qué pasó con el Reino del Norte? What happened to the Northern Kingdom? ¿Qué aconteció con el Reino del Norte? They were taken captive. Fueron llevados cautivos. They were taken captive. Fueron llevados cautivos. Hold your place there in Isaiah 17. Mantén tu lugar ahí en Isaías 17. Turn to 2 Kings. Vamos al segundo libro de Second Reyes. Second Kings chapter 17. Segundo libro de Reyes 17. Second Kings. Segundo libro de Reyes. Chapter 17. Capítulo 17. Verse 5 and 6. 5 y 6. As I said, there's a lot of parts to this lesson today. Como he dicho en, la, en anterior, hay muchas partes para esta lección. Second Kings chapter 17. Segundo libro de Reyes 17. Verse 5 and 6. Versículos 5 y 6. This part is called taking captive to the city of the Medes by the king of Ashur, Assyria. Este, esta parte se titula llevados cautivos a la ciudad de los Medos por el rey Ashur, Assyria. Then the king of Ashur invaded all the land, advanced on Shamron, 
and put it under siege for three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Ashur captured Shamram. He carried Israel away captive to Ashur, resettling them in Halak, in Havor, in the Gozan River, and in the cities of the Medes. Amen? Amen. Israel's finest people, finest mm. men, los hombres más eh, fuertes o finos de Israel were taken captive by the Assyrians fueron llevados cautivos por los Asirios by the Assyrians por los Asirios the difference between Syria and the Assyrians is they are different people groups la diferencia entre Siria y los Asirios es que son un grupo diferente de personas let me say that again déjame y lo repito Israel's people were taken away captive Israel's finest young men were taken captive es los mejores jóvenes de Israel fueron llevados cautivos by the king of Ashur por este rey de Ashur the king of Ashur is an Assyrian este rey es un Asirio and there's a difference between an Assyrian and a Syrian. hay una diferencia entre un Sirio y un Asirio these are different people group even to this day. Son diferentes tipos, eh, grupos de personas hace este día. You know who Syria is. Sabes quién es Siria. We're going to get to who Assyria is. <laughs> Vamos a investigar quién es Assyria. Okay. We're going to get to who they are, who the Vamos. Assyrians are. Vamos a llegar hasta ahí. Why don't we just tell you right now. Do you want to know who that is? Quieren saber quiénes son? Who the Assyrians? Quiénes son los Asirios? The Turks, Turkey. Los turcos, los turcos. Okay, the Assyrians are Turkey. Los Asirios son los Turcos. Okay. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna start start seeing puzzle pieces go happening here. Vas a empezar a ver las piezas del juego aquí. Because the Lord is setting up His chessboard. Porque el Señor está arreglando su tabla de ajedrez. He's setting up His pieces. Él está arreglando las piezas. He's setting up His lions. Está poniendo en su puesto a los leones. He's setting up his pawns. También a la pieza más pequeña. He's moving people around. A los peones. But Damascus cannot fall yet. Pero Damasco aún no puede caer. There has to have other things happen first. Tienen que acontecer otras cosas primero. If God does things in order, si Dios hace las cosas en orden, He's going to let us know what He did before. Él nos va a dejar saber lo que hizo antes. Through His Word, how He moved His chess pieces. A través de su palabra, cómo movió las piezas del ajedrez. Sometimes when you play chess, algunas veces cuando juegas ajedrez, you study different types of strategies. Estudias diferentes tipos de estrategias. And once you understand what your opponent is doing in their strategy y una vez que entiende lo que el oponente está haciendo en su estrategia and you've already made a mistake y has hecho algún error you don't know how to get out of that mistake no sabes cómo salirte de ese error so you just take your piece and you knock it over and say it's over <laughs> tomas tu pieza la derrumba y dice se ha terminado God is setting up his chessboard Dios está arreglando la tabla de ajedrez but you have to know who's playing pero tienes que saber quién está jugando you have to understand how this piece can only do this Puedes entender cómo esta pieza solo hace esto. How this piece can only do this. Y cómo la otra pieza hace solamente okay, esto. Up two and over one, or, or <laughs> over two and up one. Se va de un lado al otro. Your castle. Tu castillo. Can move all across the board in one direction. Se mueve a una sola dirección en toda la, la tabla. But not diagonally. Pero no de una forma diagonal. Your bishop. Tu obispo. Can move diagonally. Se puede mover diagonalmente. Each part of the game. Cada parte del juego. Is used for a particular purpose. Se, use, se utiliza con un propósito en particular. So here we're talking about Dam Damascus. Damascus. Aquí estamos hablando de Damasco. But Damascus has been a city for 3,000 years. Pero Damasco ha sido una ciudad por 3,000 años. But you have to understand who the players are. Pero tienes que entender quiénes son los jugadores. There is a difference between the Syrians Hay una diferencia entre los Asirios who have been around a long, long time que han estado por un largo tiempo and the Assyrians who are now modern day Turkey. Entre los Asirios y los Asirios que son Turquía moderna. But we see here in 2 Kings 17. Pero vemos aquí en segundo libro de Reyes let's, 17. Let's read verse 5 and 6. Leamos el versículo 5 y 6. The king of Ashur invaded all the land, advanced on Shamron, and put it under siege for three years. In the ninth year, Hoshea, the king of Ashur, captured Shamron. He carried Israel away captive to Ashur, resettling them in Halak, in Hatvor, in Gozan River, and in the cities of the Medes. Amen? Amen. So how did he get there? Como él llegó hasta ahí. 
What ha who is the king of Ashur? Why was he so close to Israel? ¿Quién es este rey de Ashur? Porque estaba tan cercano a Israel. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Vamos a investigar esto en un momento. But what happens? Pero lo que sucedió. We see here in chapter 17. Vemos aquí en el versículo 17. Verse 5 and 6. What does the Assyrians do? En el 5 y en el 6. ¿Qué es lo que hacen estos Asirios? What does he do, everybody? ¿Qué es lo que hacen? He invades Israel. El invade a Israel. He puts Israel under siege. La sitea. We're going to see some interesting things during the rest of the lesson. Vamos a ver cosas interesantes en la lección. Let's go back to Isaiah 17, please. Regresemos a Isaías 17. Isaiah 17, Yeshayahu 17. You learning something? Están aprendiendo algo? You learning something? Amen. Isaiah 17, Yeshayahu 17, verse 3. Isaías 17, versículo 3. Ephraim will have no defenses. Damasek will cease to rule. And Ar Aram's survivors will be shared the fate of Israel's finest son, says Jehovah Sivot. Amen. 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 In 700 B.C., before Messiah, en el, el 700 antes del Mesías, 2,700 years ago, 2,700 años atrás, Yeshayahu, Isaiah wrote the demise of Damascus, the fall of Damascus. Isaías escribió es, esta, este acontecimiento de Damasco. 2,700 years later, 2,700 años después, we are closer than ever for, of Damascus being destroyed. Estamos más cerca que nunca de que Damasco sea destruido. However, prophecy is being fulfilled in our time eh, como quiera, la profecía se está haciendo, eh, está haciendo cumplida en nuestro tiempo. But remember, Messiah Yeshua Pero acuérdate que el Mesías Yeshua said birth pains. dijo dolor este parto. Esto es como un parto. Hay otras cosas que deben de acontecer primero. Things have to happen in order. Las cosas deben de pasar en un orden. Watch, as we watch Damascus get blown to bits and pieces como miramos a Damasco que va a ser explotado en pedazos. Is this the end of Damascus? Are we going to head for Isaiah 17? Es este el final de Damasco. Estamos acercándonos a Isaías 17. No, we are not before other things happen first. No, hasta que otras cosas acontezcan primero. Other things must happen first. Otras cosas deben de acontecer primero. If God is a God of order, si Dios es un Dios de orden, then other things must happen first. Entonces, otras cosas deben de acontecer There primero. are two wars Hay dos guerras that must happen first. Que deben de acontecer primero. Or two events that may happen first. O dos acontecimientos que deben de pasar The primero. The one main event is Psalm 83. El evento principal es el Salmo 83. And another event is Ezekiel 38. Y otro acontecimiento es Ezequiel 38. There are, di there are differences in these battles that happen. Hay diferencias en, en estas batallas que van a pasar. In Psalm 83, en el Salmo 83, Israel's army defeats its enemy. El ejército israelí vence a sus enemigos. In Psalm 83, en el Salmo 83, Israel's army defeats the enemy. El ejército israelí uh, de, eh, combate y vence a sus enemigos. In Ezekiel 38 and 39, en Ezequiel 38 y 39, Jehovah destroys the enemy. Jehová es el que destruye el enemigo. Amen. Amen. So there's two different types of wars. Hay dos tipos diferentes de guerra. Israel will fight the Psalm 83 war and win. Israel peleará la guerra del Salmo 83 y ganará. Along with Jehovah's help. <laughs> Con la ayuda de Jehová. But here in Ezekiel 38 pero aquí en Ezequiel 38 and 39, y 39 Jehovah will destroy the enemy and we're going to look at that later. Jehová va a destruir al enemigo y miraremos eso después. The timing of Psalm, the Psalm 83 war el tiempo de la guerra del Salmo 83 must happen before Ezekiel 38 and 39. Debe de acontecer antes que Ezequiel 38 y 39. And Isaiah 17. Y Isaías eh, 17. Okay, we're going to look at all three again. Vamos a mirar los tres una vez más. Now let's prove that Psalm 83 Ahora probemos que Salmo 83 has to happen before the Gog Magog war. Debe de pasar antes de la guerra de Gog y Magog. Turn to uh, Yechazel, Ezekiel chapter 38. Vamos a Ezequiel 38. Ezekiel 38, Ezequiel 38, verse 8 through 12. Del 8 hasta el 12. 8 through 12. Del 8 hasta el 12. Anybody getting anything so far today? ¿Han aprendido algo hasta ahora? 
<coughs> Ezekiel 38. Ezequiel 38. Yeah, Ezekiel 38, verse 8 through 12. Del 8 hasta el 12. 8 through 12. This part is called living securely with no walls. Esta parte se titula viviendo en forma segura sin murallas. Living securely with no walls. Viviendo en forma segura sin murallas. Verse 8 through 12, Ezekiel 38. Ezequiel 38. Verse 8 through 12. Versículo 8 hasta el 12. Ezekiel 38. Ezequiel 38. Everybody got it? After many days have passed, you will be mustered for service. In later years, you will invade the land which has come back, been brought back from the sword, gathered out of many peoples, the mountains of Israel. They have been lying in ruins for a long time, but now Israel has been extracted from the peoples, and all of them are living there securely. You will come up like a storm. You will be like a cloud covering the land, you and all your troops, and many other peoples with you. Yob Elohim says, when that day comes, thoughts will well up in your mind, and you will devise a sinister scheme. You will say, I'm going to invade this land of unwalled villages. I will take by surprise the people who are at peace, living securely, all the places without walls, bars or gates. I will seize the spoil and take the plunder. You will attack the former ruins that have, are, now, are now inhabited and come against the people gathered from, from the nations who have acquired livestock and other wealth and are living in central parts of the land. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's go back to verse 8, please. Regresemos al versículo 8. After many days have passed, you will be mustered for service. In later years, you will invade a land which has been brought back from the sword, gathered out of the many peoples, the mountains of Israel, They've been lying in ruins for a long time. But now Israel has been extracted from the peoples. And all of them are living there securely. Amen? Amen. Is Israel living securely today? ¿Está Israel viviendo con seguridad hoy? Absolutely not. Absolutamente no. But what, the, what we see here in verse 8. Pero lo que vemos aquí en el versículo 8. Is that Israel would have to be born again. Es que Israel va a tener que renacer de nuevo. So for this prophecy to happen. Entonces para que acontezca esta profecía. It could not have happened for 2,000 years. No pudo haber acontecido por 2,000 años. Because Israel stopped becoming a nation. Porque Israel no fue más una nación. In the year 70. En el año 70. And they were not born until 1948. Y no nacieron hasta el 1948. Okay, and their 70th anniversary is on Monday. Y su 70 aniversario es el lunes. Their 70th anniversary is on Monday. Su 70 aniversario es el lunes. So Israel had to be born again. Israel tendría que nacer de nuevo. Okay, the key why this is after Psalm 83 is this. La clave que esto es después del Salmo 83 es esta. Look at verse 11. Miren el versículo the 11. The key that why this happens after la razón de por qué esto aconteció después. Psalm 83. Después del Salmo 83. Is verse 11. Es el versículo 11. You will say, I'm going to invade this land of unwalled villages. I will take by surprise these people who are at peace, living securely in all the places without walls, bars, or gates. Amen? Amen. So they're living securely. Están viviendo en seguridad. Many people from the nations have come home to Israel. Muchas personas de las naciones han regresado a su hogar Israel. But also other nations are part of Israel now too because we're going to look at Psalm 83. Pero también otras naciones son parte de Israel también. They're living securely without what? Están viviendo en seguridad sin qué? Without walls. Sin murallas. What is being built around all of Israel today? ¿Qué se está construyendo alrededor de todo Israel? A wall. Una pared, una muralla. And uh, it's not Trump that's building the wall and having the Mexicans pay <laughs> y for no it. Es Donald Trump que le está haciendo. Okay? So here in the prophecy, Aquí en la profecía, a wall around of all of Israel had to go up because it says unwalled villages. Una muralla alrededor de toda Israel porque ahí dice ciudad, eh, vi, villas sin murallas. Unwalled villages is your key. Villas sin murallas, esa es la clave. Because Jerusalem had its own walls. Porque Jerusalén tenía su propia muralla. But Jerusalem is a city. 
Pero Jerusalén es una ciudad. This prophecy is saying unwalled villages. Esta ciudad está hablando de villas. That means it's the entire nation. Eso significa la nación por completo. Now for them to live in peace and live securely. Ahora para que ellos vivan en seguridad. For, for Israel to take down these walls. Para que Israel derrumbe estas murallas. That means they got to have people that are surrounding them with peace with them. Eso significa que los que los rodean a ellos tienen paz con ellos. And this prophecy could not have happened for 2000 years. Why? Y, y esta uh, profecía no pudo acontecer por 2000 años. ¿Por qué? Because Israel was in a nation, right? Porque Israel no era una nación. This could not have happened until 1948. Esto no pudo acontecer hasta el 1948. Okay, so for 2000 years this couldn't happen. Por 2000 años esto no pudo acontecer. Now Israel is not going to take down these walls. Ahora Israel no va a derribar estas murallas. Israel is not going to take down these walls. Israel no va a derribar estas murallas. Unless they think war, the wars are over. Al menos que ellos piensen que la guerra ha terminado. Let me say that again. Déjame y lo repito. Israel is not going to take down these walls. Israel no va a derribar estas murallas. Unless they fully believe. Al menos que piensen completamente. That all the wars from their neighbors. Que todas las guerras con sus vecinos. All the nations surrounding them. Todas estas naciones que los rodean. Are over. Se han terminado. Okay. So let's go back. So let's go back now. Ahora regresemos. And understand why Psalm 83, that war is first. Y, y para entender que esta guerra de Salmo 83 es primero. Before Isaiah 17. Antes de Isaías 17. And before Ezekiel 38. Antes de Ezequiel 38. So now let's go to Psalm 83. Ahora vamos a Salmo 83. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 al 10. Psalm 83. Salmo 83. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 al 10. Psalm 83. Salmo 83. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 al 10. Everybody interested in this lesson today? Están interesados en esta lección de hoy? Pretty interesting stuff God showed me yesterday. Cosas interesantes que el Señor me mostró. Psalm 83. Salmo 83. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 hasta el 10. A song, a psalm of Asaph. Elohim, don't remain silent. Don't stay quiet, Elohim, or still, because here are your enemies causing an uproar. Those who hate you are raising their heads, craftily conspiring against your people, consulting together against those, who, those you treasure. They say, come, let's wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. With one mind, they plot, against, they plot their schemes, they, the covenant they have made against you. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelim, Moab and Hagrim, Gabal, Ammon, Amalek, Plashet, and those living in Zor. Selah, pause. Ashur too is allied with them to reinforce the tents of Lot. Do them as you did to Midian, to Sisra, to Yavin, and the body Kish Kishom. They were destroyed at Endor and became manure for the ground. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's go back to verse 6 and 7. Regresemos al versículo 6 y 7. Verse 6 and 7. 6 y 7. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelim, Moab and the Hagrim, Gaval, Ammon, Amalek, Plashet, with those living in Zor. Amen? Amen. What you see listed there, Lo que ves que está listado ahí, what you see listed there, esa lista que ves ahí, are all the nations surrounding Israel right now. Son todas esas naciones que rodean a Israel ahora mismo. What you see there enlisted in verse 6 and 7, Lo, este listado que ves en el versículo 6 y 7, is all the nations that surround Israel. Son todas las naciones que rodean a Israel. But what you don't see Pero lo que no ves is my chessboard. <laughs> es su tabla de ajedrez. Okay? The king, the, the king, you're going to be missing the kings. One is on my desk in my office <laughs> and one on my, on my other desk. Okay? You see Israel's neighbors listed. Ves el listado de los vecinos de Israel. But what is missing? Pero qué falta? There's a couple of people missing. There's five people missing. Hay un par de pueblos o personas que, que no están ahí. You don't see Syria. No ves a Syria. You don't see Assyria. No ves a Assyria. You don't see Gog. No ves a Gog. Magog. Ni a Magog. 
and Targoma. Ni a Targoma. Okay. You don't see Syria? No ves a Syria. Assyria? Assyria. Gog? Ni a Gog. Magog? Ni a Magog. And Targoma. They're not listed in 83. Eh, no están ahí listados en el Salmo 83. But you see these people groups listed. Pero ves estos pueblos que están ahí en la lista. But what happens to them? ¿Qué, pero qué les sucede a ellos? What happens to those people groups? ¿Qué les sucede a este, este grupo de personas? In the Psalm 83 war. En esta guerra del Salmo 83. What happens to those people groups? ¿Qué les sucede a estas personas? Look at verse 9 and 10. Miren el versículo 9 y 10. Do to them as you did to Midian, to Sisra, and Yavin, and the body Kishom, they were destroyed at Endor and became manure for the ground. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Okay, yeah, one on one. Okay? <laughs> Amen. Now, they were defeated by Israel's born again military. Ellos uh, fueron, eh, el, Israel, el ejército de Israel renacido los, los venció. Because this, this war has not happened yet. Porque esta guerra no había acontecido todavía. So these people are defeated by whom? Estas gente fueron vencidas por quién? By modern day Israel. Por el Israel moderno. How do you know what happens to these people? ¿Cómo sabes lo que les sucedió a estas personas? Because you need a key word here. Porque necesitas una palabra clave aquí. Okay, it's a word found in Star Wars. Se encuentra esta palabra en la película Guerra de las Galaxias. What is one of the planets named in Star Wars? ¿Cuál es uno de los nombres de los planetas en la Guerra de las Galaxias? Endor. Endor. Okay. Look at verse 10 again. Miren el versículo 10. They were destroyed at Endor and became manure for the ground. Amen? Amen. Okay. So they were destroyed at Endor. So what happens at Endor? Fueron destruidos en Endor. ¿Qué pasó con esta ciudad? Okay. Hold your place there. Mantén tu lugar ahí. Hold your place in Psalm 83. Mantén tu lugar en el Salmo 83. Let's go see what happens at Endor. Vamos a ver qué le aconteció a esta ciudad. We're not talking about the little uh, furry little guys, right? <laughs> no estamos hablando de hombrecitos right, pequeños. Right Star Wars? De los furry de Star Wars. The little guys are on Endor, right? <laughs> They are cute. No estamos hablando de guerra de las galaxias. He walks. Okay. They're the tree people. Gente de los árboles. Okay. Now what happened to the real place at Endor? ¿Qué pasó con este lugar real de Endor? And it's very interesting that God would use a movie to bring forth some prophecy. Y es muy interesante que Dios utilizaría una película para traer una profecía. See, God is always trying to talk to us. Dios siempre está tratando de hablarnos. Oh, let's see if he can do it. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. Vamos a echarle un vistazo Thank a you, Joshua and the men. <laughs> so here, on our chessboard, Aquí en nuestra tabla de ajedrez, last week, the Lord did that. La semana pasada, el Señor movió una pieza. And Satan did that. Y también Satanás. You have to have a plan to what you're doing. Tienes que tener un plan de lo que estás haciendo. The pieces of the puzzle are being moved. Estas piezas del um, rompecabezas están siendo movidas. You have to understand the game. Debes de entender el juego. Once you understand the beginning, Una vez que entiendes el principio, you're going to understand what's going on in Revelation. Vas a entender lo que pasa en Apocalipsis. Let's go find out what happened in Endor. Vamos a, a ver qué le sucedió a esta ciudad Endor. Turn to Joshua 17, Joshua 17. Vamos a Josué 17. Joshua 17. Josué 17. Joshua 17, Yehoshua 17. Yehoshua, Joshua 17. Verse 11 through, 11 through 13. Versículos 11 hasta el 13. Hold your place there, please, in Man Psalm 83. Mantén tu lugar en Salmo 83. Psalm 83, hold your place there. Turn to Yehoshua 17. We need to understand what happened in Endor. Vamos a Yehoshua 17. Necesitamos entender qué pasó en Endor. Yehoshua 17, it's right after the Torah. Joshua 17. Verse 11 through 13. Del 11 hasta el 13. Everybody got it? Amen. In Asher and Yisachar, Manasseh had 
Beit Shan and its villages, Yivle Yam and its villages, and the inhabitants of Dor and its villages of Endor and its villages, Tanakh and its villages and and uh, and of Megiddo and its villages, three districts and all. But the descendants of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities in the Kenaani wanted to stay in the land. After, it, after the people of Israel had become strong, they made the Kenaani do heavy labor, but didn't completely drive them out. Amen? Amen? Amen. In uh, verse 11, en el versículo 11, you see Endor and its villages. Ves esta ciudad, Endor y sus aldeas. But the people of Israel did not drive them out. Pero el pueblo de Israel no los echó fuera. They defeated them. Los vencieron. They defeated those people. Vencieron a estos pueblos. But those people wanted to stay under Israel's leadership. Pero este este pueblo se quería quedar bajo, bajo el, el gobierno de Israel. Let me say that again. Déjame y lo repito. It's a very important part for, for Psalm 83. Es una parte importante para el Salmo 83. The Israel's army defeats these people. El ejército Israel, de Israel venció a estas personas. But they don't get rid of them. Pero no se deshacen de because ellos. Because the people wanted to stay in the land. Porque las personas querían quedarse en la tierra. They are willing to serve Israel. Es under Israel's authority. Estaban dispuestos a servir a Israel bajo la autoridad de Israel. Israel, if you read further, but we're not going to do that right now. Si leemos más, pero no lo vamos a hacer ahora. Israel puts them at hard labor. The people at Endor, they put a hard labor. E Israel lo pone a ellos a trabajo forzosos. Effectively, what we would say is e they put them under Israel's feet. Es que lo ponen por estrado de Israel. Let me say that again. Déjame y lo repito. It's very important. Es muy importante. I want to make sure it's translated into Spanish. Amen. They didn't get rid of them. No se deshacieron de esas personas. They put them at hard labor. Le dieron trabajo forzoso. Putting them under Israel's feet like manure. Los pusieron como estrado, estrado de los pies de Israel. Let me say that again. Déjame y lo repito. Okay, this is why the, you got to study the whole of the Bible. That's why we use the 66 books. Por eso es que debemos estudiar todos los 66 libros de la Biblia. You have to understand this. Debes entender esto. To understand up to the fourth seal in the book of Revelation. Para entender hasta el cuarto sello en el libro de Revelaciones. You have to understand this. Debes entender esto. So you can watch events happening in the Middle East and go, okay, this is what's happening now. Para que entiendas estos eventos que están aconteciendo en el Medio Oriente. Israel beat them in the war. Israel los venció en la guerra. But the people in the land wanted to stay pero with la Israel. Gente, pero la gente de la tierra quería quedarse con Israel. So Israel puts them under hard labor later on in the chapter. Israel lo pone bajo trabajo forzoso. Putting the, the, those people from the Endor. Poniendo a esta gente de Endor. Under their feet as in servanthood. Los ponen por de, en un nivel bajo como siervos. They made them like manure to Israel. Los hicieron como manure para Israel. Now why is that important? Porque esto es importante. Go back to Psalm 83. Regresemos al Salmo 83. Let's look at verse 10. Miremos el versículo 10. Pretty fascinating, don't you think? Esto es muy fascinante, ¿verdad? I was like, this is so cool, Lord. Yo le dije, esto es bien said, yeah, divertido, Señor. I'm moving my chess pieces around. Él dijo, sí, estoy moviendo mis piezas hacia él. I'm just going to push over my king and that's, I'm, I'm not playing against you. Amen. Chess is such an awesome game. El ajedrez es un, un, un juego asombroso. Okay, Psalm 83, verse 10. Salmo 83, 10. They were destroyed at Endor and became manure for the ground. Amen? Amen. Now what's it saying there? ¿Qué es lo que está diciendo ahí? Once you understand Endor, the reference of Endor. Una vez que entiendes la referencia de esta ciudad Endor. In Joshua 17, chapter 17. En Josué 17. You now understand what the psalmist David is saying ahora, in Psalm 83, verse 10. Ahora entenderías lo que el salmista David está diciendo en el Salmo 83. The countries were destroyed. Los países fueron destruidos. But not completely annihilated. Pero no fueron completamente destruidos. If you understand what happened at Endor. Si entiendes lo que pasó en Endor. The people become part of Israel as servants to the Israelis. Las, el, ese pueblo se convirtió en parte de Israel como siervos de Israel. Look at verse 10. Miren el versículo 10. They were destroyed at Endor and became manure for the ground. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. The second part of the sentence is is what you need to understand. La segunda parte de esta oración es lo que necesitas entender. The manure means that the manure is for the ground. Eso significa que se convirtieron en estiércol para la tierra. It means the people are under the Israelis feet. Eso significa que ellos están por debajo de los pies de los israelitas. Meaning these people are subject to Israel's authority. Eso significa que ellos son siervos a la autoridad de Israel. So as a people group they get annihilated. Entonces como un, un pueblo eh, no son eh, destruidos. But not totally destroyed. Pero no fueron totalmente destruidos. Since they are under our feet. Están de, por debajo de nuestros pies. To walk on dead bodies it would be unclean. So they're Cam not dead. Para caminar por encima de cada, cadáveres, eso sería impuro. No David están muertos. Is, David, is using some poetry here. David está usando aquí poesía. Están debajo de nuestros pies, pero si estamos caminando sobre los cadáveres, ¿cómo, eh, ¿qué nos hace? If we're walking on a dead body, David, what does that make us? Si estamos caminando encima de los cadáveres, como no, eh, como que nos hace, nos, pone, nos hace impuros. So what he's saying is they're under our feet as in servants. Lo que él está diciendo es que son nuestros siervos. So Israel's mili military with the help of Yah. Entonces el, eh, la milicia de Israel, el ejército de Israel con la ayuda de Yah. They win this war, Psalm 83. Ganaron esta guerra de Salmo 83. And the people, like the Palestinians before The uprising, y las personas como los palestinos antes de estas revueltas like the Arabs that live in Israel today, como los árabes que viven en Israel hoy are part of Israel. son parte de Israel Now Israel becomes larger. ahora Israel se engrandece In Psalm 83, en el Salmo 83 we find that the Israeli defense forces en, eh, eh, vemos las uh, fuerzas de defensa de Israel are being called to defeat the Arab armies all around them eh, han sido llamadas para vencer al ejército de los árabes now Israel's defense forces beat these, these armies las fuerzas de defensa de Israel eh, vencen a este ejército But, so Psalm 83 has to happen first entonces el Salmo 83 debe de acontecer primero so Psalm 83 is before Ezekiel 38 and 39. El Salmo, la guerra del Salmo 83 es antes que Ezequiel 38 y 39. But before Ezekiel 38 and 39. Es antes de Ezequiel 38 y 39. You have to have Isaiah 17, Yeshayahu 17. Pero antes de Ezequiel tienes que tener a Isaías 17. Because there's a step process before God can come and invade Israel. Porque es un proceso de múltiples niveles antes que invada Israel. Before Gog, Magog, and a horde of Armies antes que Go y Mago y, mu y mucho ejército has to co will come and invade Israel. Vengan y invadan a Israel. You have to have a step by step process. Tienes que tener un proceso que es paso a paso. Now go back to Ezekiel 38. Regresemos a Ezequiel 38. Ezekiel 38. Ezequiel 38. Taking a lot of notes. Muchas notas. It's interesting you. You hit a <laughs> thumbs up on the like. Interesante. Psalm, uh, Ezekiel 38, Ezequiel 38, verse 18 through 23. Del 18 hasta el 23. So you have Psalm 83 war first. Tienes la guerra de Salmo 83 primero. Isaiah 17 will be second. Isaías 17 sería la segunda. And then Ezekiel 38 will be third. Entonces Ezequiel 38 sería la tercera. And this is the reason that it's third. Y esta es la razón por la cual es la tercera. Ezekiel 38, where I told you to hold your spot. Ezequiel 38. Okay, verse 18 through 23. Del 18 hasta el 23. Okay, this part is, is called, I will show my greatness and holiness. Esta parte se titula, yo mostraré mi grandeza y santidad. When that day comes, when Gog invades the land of Israel, says Ye Jehovah Elohim, my furious anger will boil up in my jealousy. In my heated fury, I speak. When that day comes, there will be great earthquake. Be a great earthquake in the land of Israel. So that the fish in the sea and the birds in the air, wild beasts and all the reptiles creeping on the ground, every human being there, and the land will tremble before me. Mountains will fall, cliffs will crumble, every wall crashing to the ground. I will summon the sword against him throughout all my mountains, says Jehovah Elohim. Every man will wield his sword against his brother. I will judge him with a plague and with blood. 
I will cause torrential rain to fall on him, his troops, and many peoples with him, along with huge hailstones, fire, and sulfur. I will show my greatness and holiness, making myself known in the sight of many nations. Then they will know that I am Jehovah. Amen? Amen. Okay? In these two wars... En estas dos guerras, as we can see very clearly, como podemos ver claramente, who defeats the armies of Gog and Magog? ¿Quién es que vence a este ejército de Gog y Magog? Look at verse 22, please. Miren el versículo 22. And 23. Y el 23. I will judge with the plague and with blood. I will cause torrential rain to fall on him, my, his troops and many peoples with him, along with huge hailstones, fire and sulfur. I will show my greatness and holiness, making myself known in the sight of many nations. Then they will know that I am Jehovah. Amen? Amen. Who says he's going to judge? ¿Quién dijo que iba a juzgar? Jehovah is going to judge. Jehovah es el que va a what, juzgar. What, what's he going to do? ¿Qué es lo que él va a hacer? He's going to send a flood of rain. Él va a traer un diluvio de lluvias. What else is Jehovah going to do? ¿Qué más va a hacer? He's going to send huge hailstones like about a thousand pounds. Va a traer granizo que pesa mil, mil libras. What else did he say he's going to do? ¿Qué más va a hacer? He's going to send fire. Fue, va a enviar fuego. And what else? ¿Y qué más? Sulfur. Y azufre. Didn't he do that once before? El, eh, ¿Acaso él no hizo eso? Didn't he do that once before? Él lo hizo. Didn't he do that once before? Yes, sir. Él lo hizo en antes. I'm sí, telling señor. you, yes, sir, he did that once before. Él lo, él lo hizo en antes, And sí, when señor. did he do that once before? Y cuando él lo hizo Let esto. me tell you, brothers and sisters, he did that <laughs> once before. Déjenme decir lo que él lo hizo en antes. When he destroyed Saddam and Amor. Cuando destruyó a Sodoma y Gomorra. Fire in heaven, fire and sulfur <laughs> down from heaven. Envió fuego y azufre desde los cielos. Sounds like he doesn't change. Esto suena que él no cambia. Sounds like our God is not changing. Eso suena como que nuestro Dios no cambia. You have to understand his pattern. Tienes que entender su patrón. Once you understand Jehovah's pattern, una vez que entiendes el patrón de Jehová, then you're going to see his greatness. Entonces vas a ver su grandeza. Once you understand his pattern, una vez que entiendas su patrón, he, now what does he say here? ¿Qué fue lo que él dijo aquí? Look at verse 23. Miren el versículo 23. I will show my greatness and holiness, making myself known to the sight of the goyim, many goyim. They will know that I am Jehovah, amen? Amen. He's going to show his greatness to who? Él va a enseñar su grandeza I'm going to show my greatness to the Goyes. Le voy a mostrar mi grandeza a los Goyes. Who have come against my people. Que vienen en contra de mi pueblo. My people who I chose from all the people of the earth. Mi pueblo en quien yo escogí de todos los pueblos de la tierra. And then he says, they will know that I am Jehovah. Entonces él dice, ellos conocerán que yo soy Jehovah. And he's going to show that he is with Israel. Él va a mostrar que él está con Israel. But. Pero, this happens after Psalm 83. Esto acontece después de Salmo 83. And after Isaiah 17. Y después de Isaías 17. In Psalm 83. En el Salmo 83. Israel and her allies will defeat evil. Israel y sus aliados van a vencer la maldad. But in Ezekiel 38 and 39, Pero en Ezequiel 38 y 39, Jehovah is so jealous, Jehovah is tan celoso, he is so mad, y está tan airado, he alone defeats the evil that has come into his land. Él mismo va a, destru va a traer destrucción a esta maldad que llega a su, a su tierra. So let's go back to our chessboard of Isaiah 17. Volvamos a nuestra tabla de ajedrez de Isaías 17. See, when you go on your chessboard, ves en tu tabla de ajedrez and maybe uh, move this guy now a mover a este ahora let's take a look at our chessboard vamos a la tabla de ajedrez no, well I took my hand up but anyway <laughs> maybe you move this guy quizás mueves esta pieza so he's being daring he wants his queen out él está siendo atrevido y saca a su reina. So, you're going to move your chess pieces very carefully. Vas a mover las piezas del ajedrez con cuidado. The devil moves his pieces. Hasatán mueve sus piezas. 
So you have to be careful. Tienes que ser cuidadoso. How you move your pieces. En cómo mueve las piezas. You have to be careful. Tienes que tener cuidado. How you read the Bible. Cómo lees la escritura, la Biblia. You must understand that this is a Jewish book. Y debes de entender que este es un libro judío. You must understand the pattern of Jehovah first. Debes de entender el patrón de Jehová primero. The end is yet to come, said Yeshua. El fin está por venir, dice Yeshua. But I believe the birth pains have truly started. Amen. Pero yo creo que los dolores de parto realmente han empezado. Now let's take a look. Vamos a mirar. At Isaiah 17. Vamos a observar a Isaías 17. The pattern in the prophecy, you got to watch how it, it, the pattern is. El modelo de la profecía, debes de mirar cuál es este modelo. Isaiah 17, Yeshua 17. Isaías 17. Verse 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, y 3. Isaiah 17, Isaías 17, verse 1, 2, and 3. Versículo 1, 2, y 3. This is a prophecy, prophecy about Damasek. Damasek will soon stop being a city. It will become a heap of ruins. The cities of Aroer will be abandoned, given over to flocks lying down undisturbed. Ephraim will have no defenses. Damasek will cease to rule. And, and Aram's survivors will share the fate of Israel's finest sons, Says Jehovah Sivaot. Amen. Amen. Now that we have some of the puzzle pieces, Ahora que tenemos alguna de las piezas, let us discover the pattern for Jehovah does not change. Vamos a descubrir el patrón porque Jehovah no cambia. Jehovah does not change, everybody. Jehovah no cambia. Where were they taken captive to? ¿A dónde fueron llevados cautivos? Remember in 2 Kings. Acuérdate en el segundo libro de Reyes. We read 2 Kings 17, verse 5 and 6. Le, leímos ese el segundo libro de Reyes 17, 5 what, y 6. What, what happened? ¿Qué aconteció? Those cities were taken captive, right? Eh, esas ciudades fueron llevadas cautivas. Who captured them? ¿Quién las capturó? The king of Ashur. El rey de Ashur. Who is the king of Ashur? ¿Quién es este rey? It is the Assyrians. Los Asirios. Who are the Assyrians? ¿Quiénes son? Turkey is the Assyrians, right? Los Turcos. And they took him to the city of the Medes, right? Y se lo llevaron a esta ciudad. Okay. Who is Assyria once again? ¿Quién es Asiria una vez más? Turkey is the Assyrian. Los Turcos. Okay. Turquía. Let's go on to lesson number two. Vamos a la lección dos. Lesson number two. Lección dos. Okay. We're going to see the Damascus pattern. Vamos a ver el modelo de Damasco. Okay, but before we can understand Isaiah 17, hold your place there. Antes que entendamos Isaías 17. We got to understand what happens first. Debemos entender lo que aconteció primero. Turn to 2 Kings chapter 16. Vamos al segundo libro de Reyes 16. 2 Kings 16. Segundo libro de Reyes 16. Verse 1 through 4. Del 1 al 4. I'm going to read this two paragraphs and then it's in Spanish for you. Amen. You got it there? It's two paragraphs? Amen. Okay, I'm going to read this in English and then Elizabeth is going to do it in Spanish. Amen. Before we get to read 2 Kings, we're going to read, I'm going to read you something else. Antes que leamos Segunda de Reyes, se va a leer otra cosa. And then I'm going to do it in English, and Elizabeth will do it in Espanol. En inglés y en español. In 734 B.C., before Messiah, Israel was also having trouble on its northern border with Syria. 2 Kings chapter 16 and 17 tells us all about it. In 734 B.C., Israel asked Assyria, the Turks, to help fight against Syria. After Assyria conquered, after Assyria conquered Syria, and took to Damascus, they attacked the northern Israel. This is a model for the end time events unfolding now. Iran is at war with Israel in Syria, but Israel may ask Turkey for help. Turkish President Erdogan said that he will not stop until Syrian President Assad is removed from power in Damascus. So we can see that Turkey intends to attack Syria soon. Turkey also plans to conquer Damascus just like, the Jer like Jeremiah predicts. Up until now, Turkey had hoped that the rebels would eventually overtake the Syrian army. The key to victory is to capture the seat of power in Damascus. However, rebel fighters say that they do not have the military might to take Damascus. In July 2015, Turkey deployed 54,000 troops and heavy artillery along the Syrian border. Let us look at the capture and desolation of the an end time prophecy of Dam Damasek, how this leads to the fourth seal and provoking the eternal one's wrath. Amen. En, el, en 734 BC, Israel también estaba teniendo problemas en su frontera norte con Siria. 
Segunda de Reyes, segunda libro, segundo libro de Reyes, capítulo 16 y 17, nos cuentan todo al respecto. En el 734 BC, Israel le preguntó a Siria, a los turcos, ayuda para luchar contra Siria. Después que Asiria conquistó Siria y tomó Damasco, entonces atacaron el norte de Israel. Este es un modelo para los eventos del tiempo final que se están desarrollando ahora. Irán está en guerra con Israel en Siria, pero Israel puede pedir ayuda a Turquía. El presidente turco Erdogan dijo que no se detendría hasta que el presidente sirio Assad sea removido del poder en Damasco. Entonces podemos ver que Turquía tiene la intención de atacar a Siria pronto. Tur Turquía también planea conquistar Damasco, como lo predijo Jeremías. Hasta ahora Turquía había esperado que los rebeldes eventualmente superaran al ejército sirio. La clave de la victoria es la captura de la sede del poder en Damasco. Sin embargo, los combatientes rebeldes dicen que no tienen el poder militar para tomar Damasco. <coughs> Sorry. En julio eh, del 2015, Turquía desplegó 50, 54 mil tropas y artillería pesada a lo largo de la frontera siria. Demos un vistazo a la captura y a la desolación y la profecía de, del tiempo del fin de, Damas, de Damasco. Cómo esto conduce al cuarto sello y provoca la ira del Eterno. Amen. Those troops are still there, everybody. Estas tropas todavía están ahí, todos. And the president of Turkey wants the crown jewel back. Y este presidente turco quiere este trono de vuelta. Israel has attacked Syria. Israel ha atacado Siria. But Damascus is a little. They hit Damascus. Ellos gol eh, gol eh, atacaron a Damasco. Something, a pattern is going to be established. Pero hay un patrón que va a ser establecido. Let's see Second Kings 16. Miremos segundo libro de Reyes 10, eh, 15. Let's 16. Do, let's do verse 1 through 4. Eh, leamos del 1 hasta el 4. It was the 17th year of uh, Pechach, the son of Remelah, that Ahaz, the son of Yotam, the king of Thank Yehuda, so began his reign. Ahaz was 20 years old when he began to rule, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. But he did not do what was right from Jehovah's perspective, of Jehovah his Elohim, as David his ancestor had done. Rather, he lived in the manner of the kings of Israel. He even made his son pass through the fire as a sacrifice. In keeping with the abominable practices of the pagans, whom Jehovah had thrown out ahead of the people of Israel, he also sacrificed and offered on the high places, on the hills, and under any green tree. Amen? Okay, to understand why this is happening. Say it again. Para acontecer porque esto está aconteciendo. If Jehovah is on his throne. Si Jehovah está en su trono. If he's sovereign over all creation. Si él es soberano sobre toda la creación. Then why does Jehovah allow his people to go through such distress? Porque Jehovah permitió que la gente pasara por tal angustia. Why are they going to go to war? Porque van a ir a la guerra. How does Israel walk with Jehovah and Yeshua affect the world? Como el caminar de Israel con Jehovah y con Yeshua afecta al mundo. How does Israel's walk? Como el caminar de Israel with their God, con su Dios, Jehovah and Yeshua, Jehovah y Yeshua affect the world. Afecta al mundo. How does this affect Damascus? Como esto afecta Damasco. Remember, this is a chess match, everybody. Acuérdate que este es un partido de ajedrez. Some pieces, algunas piezas, some pieces, algunas piezas, have to be sacrificed. Tienen que ser sacrificadas to get to the greater good. Para ir a un propósito mayor. Some pieces have to be sacrificed. Algunas piezas deben de ser sacrificadas. To get to the greater good. Para ir a un propósito mayor. You take one piece. At a time. Tomas una pieza a la vez. Okay, so what happened here? Entonces, ¿qué sucede aquí? What happened in the scripture? ¿Qué sucede en la escritura? Okay. You have to sacrifice some things. Tienes que sacrificar algunas cosas. From the time of the garden. Desde el tiempo del jardín del Edén. Everything happened because of obedience or disobedience to God's word. 
Todo ha pasado por obediencia o desobediencia a la palabra del Señor. And when we as Jehovah's children, y nosotros como hijos de Jehová, when we fail him, cuando le fallamos a él, when we fail him, cuando le fallamos, the world suffers. El mundo sufre. Okay, so if you're not God's children, si no eres hijo de Dios, then the world is not going to suffer because of you. El mundo no va a sufrir a causa tuya. But when you're God's chosen people, pero cuando eres el pueblo escogido de Dios, when you proclaim Yeshua, y proclamas a Yeshua, you affect the world in what you do or don't do. Afectas al mundo con lo que haces o no haces. Okay, so what about Psalm 83? ¿Qué tal con Salmo 83? Isaiah 17. Isaías 17. And Damasek. Y Damasco. And the fourth seal. Y el cuarto sello. Four to seven seals. Ezekiel 38. Ezequiel 38. What, how does that all happen? ¿Cómo sucede todo esto? You need the Damasek understanding here. Necesitas el entendimiento de Damasco aquí. Let's look at verse 2. Miremos el versículo 2. Let's look at verse 2. Versículo 2. Ahaz was 20 years old when he began to rule. And he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, but he did not do what was right from the perspective of Jehovah his Elohim, as David his ancestors had done. Amen. 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 When the ruler or rulers in the land, cuando el gobernante o los gobernantes de la tierra, do what's right in their own mind, hacen lo que es correcto en su propio pensar, instead of what is right. In Elohim's perspective, en vez de hacer lo que es correcto bajo la perspectiva de Elohim, then God starts the chess match with that group. Entonces Dios empieza una, un partido de ajedrez con ese grupo. This verse starts. Este versículo empieza. The understanding of Damascus. El entendimiento de Damasco. What didn't he do? ¿Qué fue lo que no hizo? What didn't this king of Israel do? ¿Qué fue lo que este rey de Israel hizo? He didn't follow his God. He El, didn't do what was right. Él no hizo lo que era correcto. He didn't do what was right in whose perspective. Él no hizo lo que era correcto bajo la perspectiva look de quién. Look at verse 2. Miren el versículo 2. God was 20 years old when he was began to rule and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. He did not do what was right from the perspective of Jehovah his Elohim as David his ancestor had done. Amen. Amen. So when you're not following God's rules, cuando no estás siguiendo las reglas de Dios, then things are going to start happening and wars are going to start happening. Entonces van a acontecer cosas y guerras también. Why? ¿Por qué? Because you're not doing what God wants you to do. Porque no estás haciendo lo que Dios requiere que hagas. And if you're especially if you're God's chosen people, especialmente si eres el pueblo escogido de Dios. If God brings on a war, si Dios trae una guerra, it's because you are not doing what God wanted you to do. Es porque no estás no estás haciendo lo que Dios te requiere hacer. And war is generally hard. People die. Y la guerra por lo general es difícil. La gente se muere. Even if one person dies. Aún si se muere una sola gente. Some mother or father is going to be sad for the rest of their life. Algún padre o alguna madre van a estar eh, triste por el resto de sus vidas. So now let's look at verse three. Please. Ahora miremos el tres. Rather he lived in the manner of the kings of Israel. Even made his son pass through the fire as a sacrifice. In keeping with the abominable mm. practices of the pagans whom Jehovah had thrown out ahead of the people of Israel. Amen. Let's look at what the word abominable is. Eh, vamos a mirar la definición para abominable. I'm going to read it in English and uh, Elizabeth is going to do it in Spanish. Amen. Abominable is H8441. It is the Hebrew word to'eba. It means, number one, a disgusting thing, an abomination, abominable. Number two, In the ritual sense of unclean foods, idols, mixed marriages. Number three, in the ethical sense of wickedness, etc. Amén. Definición para abominable. La palabra H8441 Toeba. Una cosa repugnante, abominable, detestable, en el sentido ritual de alimentos impuros, ídolos, los matrimonios mixtos, en el sentido ético de la maldad, etc. Okay. Now, when the king starts acting... Like the pagans. Entonces, cuando el rey empieza a comportarse como los paganos. It says pagans in the CJB there. Dice la Biblia completa judía paganos. But it doesn't say that in the Hebrew. Pero no dice eso en el hebreo. Let's go to the next definition on our page there. Vamos a la siguiente definición. The word pagans is also nations in some of your translations. It is H1471, Goy or Goyim. Number one, nation, people. Number two, 
usually of non-Hebrew people. Amen? Amen. Español. De Definición para paganos, naciones. La palabra H 1471. Girl. Dice la nación, la gente, sustantivo masculino. Por lo general, las personas no hebreas. So when the king started acting like the goyim, cuando el rey empezó a comportarse como un pagano, when the king of Israel or the king of Jerusalem here, a Jew, cuando el rey de Israel o el rey de Jerusalén aquí un judío, we started to act like one of the nations, se empezó a comportar como uno de las naciones, and doing their abominable practices, haciendo las uh, prácticas abominables de what ellos. What happens is it starts the ball rolling down the hill. Eso empieza a mover la pelota que es, eh, baje. <laughs> He starts to do what the, the, the world does. Él empieza a hacer lo que el mundo hace. Our, our God who is jealous. Nuestro Dios que es celoso. Gets angry with his own people. Se aira con su propio pueblo. And, what, and we're going to see what happens next. Y vamos a ver lo que acontece después. But what, look at verse 3 again. Pero miren el versículo 3. He lived in the manner of the kings of it, rather he lived in the manner of the king of Israel. He even made his son pass through fire, sacrifice, in keeping with the mm. abominable practices of the pagans, whom Jehovah had thrown out of the pe thrown out ahead of the people of Israel. Amen. Amen. So he starts to act like the people that, that we kicked out. Él empieza a comportarse como estos pueblos que sacamos fuera. He started to act like one of those nations, one of the goyim. Empieza a comportarse como las naciones, como un goyim. But he didn't even just do that. Pero él tan solo no hizo esto. He didn't do this, just that only toy ba. Él solamente no hizo esta abominación. What else did he do? Look at verse 4. Mira en el versículo 4. He also sacrificed and offered on the high places, on the hills, and under every, under, 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 under mm -hmm. any green tree. Amen? Amen. What did he do? ¿Qué fue lo que hizo? He defiled the kingdom. El profanó el reino. By his actions and by his heart, he defiled the kingdom. Con sus acciones y con su corazón, el profanó el reino. Look at verse 4 again, please. Mm -hmm. Miren el versículo 4. He also sacrificed and offered on the high places, on the hills and under any green tree. Amen? Amen. He just was doing this everywhere. Él estaba haciendo esto por todos lados. And he defiled the kingdom. Y profanó el reino. But, you know, because now he's doing it. Porque ahora él lo está haciendo. Now the rest of the nation is going to be doing it. Ahora también el resto de la nación lo va a estar haciendo. Now because he's doing it. Porque él lo está haciendo. Because he's a Hebrew. Él es un hebreo. God is now going to use a nation to chastise his people. Ahora Dios va a utilizar la, una de, uno de las naciones para castigar a su pueblo. Okay. What he's going to do. Lo que él va a hacer. Because we were doing something bad. Porque estábamos haciendo algo malo. He's going to bring another nation. Él va a traer otra nación. To do something to us. Para que nos haga algo. Remember, he used another nation to do this to us before, right? Acuérdate que él utilizó otra nación para hacernos esto en antes. Can anybody say Egypt? Eh, alguno puede decir Egipto. He used them to chastise us for what? Él los utilizó para castigarnos por qué? For over 400 years, right? Por acerca de 400 años. But did Egypt do anything bad? Pero Egipto hizo algo malo. Not really, right? No, no realmente. Well, they made us slaves, right? Nos esclavizaron. Okay, so there's a pattern that we're going to, to do, right? Hay un modelo, un patrón que vamos a hacer. Now let's look at verse 5 now. Miren el versículo 5 ahora. Okay. Then Retzin, king of Aram, and Pachach, son of Remalah, Remalah, king of Israel, came up to fight against Jerusalem, but they, they put Achaz under siege, but they could not overcome him. Amen? Amen. Okay? So who are these players? ¿Quiénes son esos jugadores? Retzin, it says, is the king of Aram. Este rey de Aram, Retzin. Who is Aram? ¿Quién es Aram? Retzin is the king of Syria. Retzin es el rey de, Asir, de Asiria o Sir? Syria. De Syria. Syria. Okay? And the son of Uh, Pekak is a, the son of Ramayah, the king of Israel, right? Yes, este es el hijo de Remalah, el rey de Israel. Okay, so what's going on here? ¿Qué es lo que está sucediendo aquí? Syria and the northern kingdom Syria y el reino del norte 
King of Syria, Red Sin. Este Red Sin, el rey de Siria. Is the king of Syria. Es el rey de Siria. Pekah, the son of Remaliah, Rema, Rema the king of Israel. Y acá el hijo de Remaliah, rey de Israel. Is fighting against the king of Jerusalem. Está luchando en contra del rey de Israel de Jerusalén. So we got Jews and Gentiles fighting against Jews. Ent entonces tenemos judíos y gentiles peleando en contra de judíos. They come up to Jerusalem for war. Subieron a Israel para guerra. To fight with a Ahaz, para eh, combatir a este rey. So Ahaz, uh, the Lord was going to chastise him for why? Eh, Jehová lo iba a castigar por qué? Why is Ahaz going to get chastised by the Lord? Porque este rey de Jerusalén iba a ser castigado por el Señor. What did we read in verse 3? Que leímos en el versículo 3. What did we read in verse 3? Que leímos en el versículo 3. They're acting like a bunch of goys. Porque están actuando como un, un grupo de gentiles. So when we start acting like a bunch of goys, cuando empezamos a actuar como los gentiles, when we don't keep kosher, cuando no nos mantenemos kosher, we don't keep the Sabbath, no mantenemos el Shabbat, we don't have a beard, no tenemos una barba, when we do, we don't celebrate Jehovah's Holy Days, cuando no celebramos los días santos de Jehová el Señor va a utilizar otras personas para que nos castiguen Now let's look at verse 7 through 9. vamos a mirar el versículo del 7 hasta el 9 <coughs> Let's look at 7 through 9 and now we're going to get a little bit more interesting here del 7 hasta el 9 se va a poner interesante Then Ahaz sent messengers to Tiglat Pil Eser king of Asher with this message I am your servant and your son come up and save me from the king of Aram and the king of Israel who are attacking me. Ahaz took the silver and gold that was in the house of Jehovah and the treasuries of the royal palace and sent it as a present to the king of Ashur. The king of Ashur heeded him. The king of Ashur attacked Damasic and captured it. Then he carried off the people captive to Kir and killed Retzin. Amen? Amen. Okay, what happens there? ¿Qué aconteció ahí? The Jews make an alliance with the Assyrians. Los judíos hicieron una alianza con esos asirios. The king of Yehuda el rey de Judá makes an alliance with the Assyrians hizo una alianza con los asirios to come and help him para que vinieran a ayudarle. So we make an alliance with the pagans. Hicimos una alianza con los paganos. He did not go and seek Jehovah. What does he do? Él no fue a buscar a Jehovah. ¿Qué fue lo que hizo? He seeks other people's help to get to his mission. Él buscó la ayuda de otros para completar su misión. Remember in the Gospels, Yeshua said, brother against brother, family against family. Acuérdate que en el Evangelio, Yeshua dice, hermano contra hermano y familia contra familia. We see it happening here right in 2 Kings. Lo vemos que acontece aquí en Segundo Libro de Reyes. Now what did he do? ¿Qué fue lo que él hizo? Look at verse 8, everybody. Miren el versículo 8. Ahaz took the silver and gold that was in the house of Jehovah and the treasuries and in the treasuries of the royal palace and sent it as a present to the king of Ashur. Amen? Amen. So he doesn't even make an alliance with them. El, tan, eh, tan solo no hace una, una alianza con ellos. He takes the gold from God's house el toma el tesoro de la casa de Dios and gives it to the pagans. Y se los entrega a los paganos. What are you doing? ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo? What, what would possess you to do something from the pit of hell? ¿Qué te da a ti el poder de hacer esta cosa del abismo del infierno? Because why? ¿Por qué? Because he's young. Porque él es joven. And he was not taught the ways of God. Y él no fue instruido en los caminos del Señor. And he even made his own son walk through the fire. Él hizo pasar offering. su propio hijo como una ofrenda por el fuego. Now look at verse 9. Miren el versículo 9. The king of Ashur heeded him. The king of Ashur attacked Damasek and captured it. Then he carried its people captive to Kir and killed Retzin. Amen? Amen. Who captured Damasek? ¿Quién capturó a, a Damasco? The Assyrians. Los Asirios. Who are the Assyrians? ¿Quiénes son estos Asirios? It's Turkey. Es Turquía. What does, what does the president of Turkey want to do now? ¿Qué es lo que el presidente de Turquía quiere hacer ahora? He wants Bashir Assad out of power. Él quiere que Assad fuera destronado. Why sea does destronado. he want him out of power? ¿Por qué quiere que sea destronado? Because he wants the crown jewel back. Porque él quiere este trono de vuelta. Because why? ¿Por qué? Why does he want that? Porque él quiere eso. Hmm. Let's move this piece. Vamos a mover esta pieza. Let's move this one. Y esta pieza. All the way over to here. 
<laughs> See what's going on, everybody? Están viendo lo que está. See what God is doing? Están viendo lo que Dios está haciendo. He's moving his pieces el, around. Él está moviendo sus piezas. Okay, because they're not a democracy in Turkey anymore. Porque en Turquía no son no son democráticos. And they got 54,000 troops on the border. Y tiene 54,000 tropas en en los límites en so la frontera. So here in verse nine, let's Aquí read verse versículo, nine again. Aquí en el versículo 9. The king of Ashur heated him, and the king of Ashur attacked Damasek and captured it. Then he carried the people captive to Kir and killed Retzin. Amen. Amen. What does the president of Turkey want to do? ¿Qué es lo que el presidente de Turquía quiere hacer? Kill the, the king of Retzin. Quiere matar al rey de Retzin. He wants to do that to him. Él quiere hacerle esto a él. Now you get the picture why the 54,000 soldiers are on the border. Ahora tienes esta imagen de por qué estas tropas están en la frontera. It has frontera. nothing to do with the, the natural. It has everything to do with the spiritual. No tiene nada que ver con lo físico, natural. Tiene todo que ver con lo espiritual. Now why is this happening? ¿Por qué esto está aconteciendo? Why is it happening, ¿Por qué está aconteciendo? Because the chosen people wanted to act like a bunch of goys. Porque el pueblo escogido quiere actuar como un grupo de paganos. Israel is acting like a bunch of they're doing abominations. Israel está practicando abominaciones. What kind of abominations are going on in Israel? ¿Qué clase de abominaciones están pasando en Israel? What other toeba are happening in Israel? ¿Cuáles son estas toeba que están aconteciendo? Homosexuality is a toeba to God. La homosexualidad es toeba para Dios. See, when we start acting like a bunch of pagans, cuando empezamos a comportarnos como los paganos, God's going to use another nation to chastise us. Dios va a utilizar otra nación para castigarnos. And going to draw Israel into a fight with Syria. Y los va a llevar a una pelea con Siria. But Syria is, but Israel is going to not be able to take over Syria. Pero Israel no podrá apoderarse de Siria. So who's in alliance with Gog? ¿Quién está en alianza con God? Who's in alliance with Gog? ¿Quién está en alianza? Who's Gog right now? ¿Quién es God ahora the mismo? Russians. Los rusos. The Russians, the Chinese, and who are together in military? Los rusos, los chinos. The Turks. Y los turcos. Okay, the Turks are there. Los turcos están ahí. Now let's look at verse 10, please. Ahora miremos el versículo 10. 10 and 11. 10 y 11. When King Ahaz went to, went to Damasek to meet with Tiglat Pileser, king of Ashur, and saw the altar that was on, in Damascus, Damasek, he sent a drawing and a model of the altar to Uriah the Cohen with details of the construction and the decoration. Then Uriah the Cohen built an altar exactly according to the design of King Ahaz had sent from Damasek. Uriah the Cohen had, had it ready for the time King Ahaz returned from Damasek. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. The king of Judah el rey de Judá. This Jewish man este hombre judío goes to Damascus to meet with the pagans. Se fue a, a Damascus para reunirse con los paganos. He meets with the Assyrians. Él se reunió con los asirios. He meets with the Assyrian king, the Turkish. E, e, con este rey de, Tur de Turquía. And then what does he see in, in, in Dam Damascus? ¿Y qué es lo que él ve en Damasco? He sees an altar. Él ve un altar. This, he sees this beautiful altar. El ve este bello altar. The altar that is not ordained by God. Un altar que no fue ordenado por Dios. He loves this altar so much. Lo quiso tanto este altar. He has a drawing made of this altar. Hicieron un diseño de este altar. And then he sends it to who? Y se lo envió a quién? He sends it to who to get it made? Se lo envió a quién para que lo hiciese? Look at verse 11. Miren el versículo 11. Then Uriah the Cohen built an altar exactly according to the design King Ahaz had sent from Damascus. Uriah the Cohen had it ready by the time King Ahaz returned from Damascus. Amen? Amen. Who makes this pagan altar? ¿Quién hizo este altar pagano? The Cohen. El Kohanim. What were you thinking? ¿Qué estaba él pensando? What possessed you to do that? ¿Quién te dio el poder de hacer esto? This is from the pit of Sheol. Esto viene de las pailas del infierno. But here Israel made an alliance with the pagans. Pero aquí Israel hizo una alianza con los paganos. And they become like the pagans. Y se convirtieron en paganos. So the Cohen knows the details of how this was made, the decorations. El Cohen sabía los detalles y las decoraciones. The king of the king of of Israel, el rey de Israel, is impressed with the Gentiles' treasures. Está impresionado con el tesoro de los gentiles. 
gentiles. So when we become with, when we're impressed with the gentiles. Cuando eh, estamos impresionados con los gentiles. When we become impressed with what they're doing and not what God has for us. Cuando nos impresionamos con lo que ellos hacen y no con lo que Dios tiene para nosotros. So here this king loves this altar. Aquí este rey ama este altar. Instead of the beauty of our God's altar en vez de la belleza del altar de nuestro Dios Then God is going to get very jealous. entonces Dios se va a poner muy celoso Look what happened in verse 11 again. mira lo que pasa en el versículo 11 Then Uriah the Cohen built an altar exactly according to the design King Ahaz sent from Damascus Uriah the Cohen had it ready by the time King Ahaz returned from, the, from Damascus Amen? Amen you see in one, in one sentence ves ahí en una oración in one verse en un verso you see Uriah the Cohen not once but twice ves a Uriah el Cohen no una vez y dos veces when the Kohenim cuando el Kohenim when God's priesthood is doing things of the world cuando el sacerdocio de Dios está haciendo las cosas del then mundo then destruction comes next entonces viene la destrucción What is the shepherds of the world doing today? ¿Qué están haciendo los pastores del mundo hoy? We got women rabbis. Tenemos mujeres rabinas. In England. En Inglaterra. We have the first ordained Orthodox Jewish woman rabbi. Tuvimos esta primera uh, uh, rabina ordenada ortodoxa. What are you doing? ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo? What are you doing? ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo? But when we act like the pagans. Pero cuando actuamos como los paganos. Who has a priest? To, who has a priestess in the religion? Porque ¿quién tiene el sacerdocio en la religión? That is a pagan ritual. Ese es un ritual pagano. Well, well Deborah was a, was a, was a, was a, was a head of Israel. <laughs> She Deborah, was a queen. <laughs> Deborah era gobernante de Israel. She wasn't a Kohenim. Ella no era una sacerdotisa. And there's a study on our website about Deborah. Y también hay un estudio acerca de ella. What Uriah the Cohen builds this altar. U Uriah el Cohen, eh, él edificó este altar. He should have said no. El Debió de haber dicho no. He should have stood with Torah and said, "No, I'm not doing this." Debió de pararse firme por la Torá y decir, "Yo no voy a hacer esto." He's either afraid or he's just plain stupid. Quizá tiene temor o quizás es un falto de entendimiento. But now, pero ahora, what happens next? ¿Qué es lo que acontece? Hmm. Hmm. God is going to move another chess piece. Dios va a mover otra pieza del ajedrez. Because if he takes this piece, sir, porque si él toma esta pieza aquí, then I can take it with this piece and then put it back. Con esta pieza y la pongo de vuelta. So if he doesn't move it, si él no la mueve, so if he takes this piece, si toma otra pieza, and I take it with the other piece. So you see how things get moved around. Está viendo cómo las cosas son movidas. You have to study a couple of moves ahead. Tiene que estudiar un par de, de movimientos. Drawing Satan into a fight. Dios está llevando a Satanás a una pelea. Everybody see what's going on? Todos están viendo lo You're que está pasando. You want to keep going? ¿Estás interesado? ¿Quieres seguir? Yvonne doesn't. She's out of here. <coughs> Let's go to verse 12 and 13 now. Vamos al versículo 12 y 13. She can't take it anymore. Verse 12 and 13. 12 y 13. When the king arrived from Damascus, he saw the altar. And the king approached the altar and, and offered on it. He offered his burnt offering and his grain offering, poured out his drink offering and splashed the blood of his peace offering on the altar. Amen? Amen. So the Jewish king arrives from Damascus. Este rey judío llega de Damasco. And he says, I love what you did for my altar. <laughs> y le dice, yo amo lo que hiciste con este altar. He offers Burnt offerings on this. El of, uh, hace ofrendas quemadas ahí. Grain offerings of, on this. Ofrendas de cereal. Drink offerings on this. Libación. He splashes the blood of the peace offerings on this. Sa salpica la sangre de la ofrenda de, de paz. He did what was evil from Elohim's perspective. Él hizo lo que es malvado a los ojos de Dios. What do you think Jehovah thought or felt about this particular part? ¿Cómo tú crees que se sintió Jehová o qué pensó en esta parte en particular? ¿Crees que él está feliz o triste? <coughs> What do you think he's gonna do? ¿Qué tú crees que él va a hacer? And why do we need to know this? ¿Y por qué necesitamos saber esto? Is still there. Porque Damasco aún está ahí. The, the nations around Israel are roaring against them, right? Estas naciones que están cercanas a Israel están eh, rugiendo en contra de ella. Let's look at verse 14 
through 16 now. Miremos el versículo del 14 hasta el 16. Let's see what the king does next. Vamos a ver lo que hace el rey después. Interesting, isn't it? Esto es interesante, ¿no? The bronze altar which was before Jehovah, he brought from in front of the house. From between his own altar and the house of Jehovah, he put it on the north side of his own altar. Then King Ahaz instructed Uriah the Cohen as follows. From this point on, or henceforth, it is on the large altar that you are to offer the morning burnt offerings and the evening grain offerings. The king's burnt offerings and his grain offerings, together with the burnt offerings of all the people of the land. Their grain offerings and their drink offerings. And you are to splash all the blood of the burnt offerings against it, and all the blood of the sacrifice. As for the bronze altar, I will take care of it. Uriah the Cohen acted in accordance with everything King Ahaz had ordered. Amen? Amen. So now what does he do? Ahora, ¿qué es lo que hace? He puts this thing by his house. Él pone esta cosa en su casa. He commands Uriah to do the offerings on this pagan altar. Él le da la orden al Cohen de que haga las ofrendas en este altar pagano. Uriah, who's not commanded by the king, Uriah, que fue ahora ordenado por el rey, in matters of worship, en cosas de adoración. But he's commanded by God to do his job the way instructed. Pero él está ordenado por Dios de hacer su trabajo de la manera que fue instruido. The priesthood does not listen to the kingship. El sacerdocio no escucha al reinado. The priesthood listens to God and God alone in his word. El sacerdocio escucha a Dios y a Dios solo y su palabra. But Uriah is saying, look, I want all the offerings on the great altar, this pagan one. Pero Uriah dijo, yo quiero todas las ofrendas en este altar pagano. And the pagan one was larger than the one from the temple. Y este altar pagano era más grande que el que estaba en el templo. So this one was in greater esteem. Este estaba en alta estima. Now let's see what happens. Look at verse 16. Ahora vemos qué pasa. Veamos el versículo 16. Uriah the Cohen acted in accordance with everything that King Ahaz had ordered. Amen. Amen. The Cohen started to act like a pagan. El Cohen empezó a actuar, a comportarse como un pagano. Is the, is the messianic body acting like a bunch of pagans? Yes. <laughs> Está el cuerpo mesiánico comportándose como un grupo de paganos, sí. Is the body of Jesus acting like a bunch of pagans? Yes. Y el cuerpo del, de Jesús también está actuando como pagano, sí. So what happens when there's no difference? ¿Qué pasa cuando hay, no hay diferencia? Between Jehovah's people and the world. Entre la, el pueblo de Jehová y el mundo. Chess pieces get moved and chastisement begins. Las piezas del ajedrez se mueven y empieza el castigo. Let's look at verse 17 and 18 now. Miremos el versículo 17 y 18. King Ahaz removed the panels of the trolleys and took the basins off them. He took the sea off the bronze oxen, supporting it, and set it on the stone pavement. And because the king of Ashur, he removed from the house of Jehovah the colonnade used on Shabbat, which had been built for it in the king's entrance way outside of it. Amen? Amen. Now what happened? Ahora, ¿qué pasa? What happens next? ¿Qué sucede después? Now the Assyrians, the ahora, Turkish, ahora los turcos, los Asirios, removed things from the house of Jehovah. Removieron cosas de la casa de Jehovah. Okay? No, now if Jehovah has left his house because you provoked him to anger, Ahora sí, Jehová dejó su casa porque lo provocó a ira. Because you provoke God to anger, he's allowing his things to get taken. Porque si provocas a Dios a ira, él va a permitir que sus cosas sean tomadas. Now what happens after the Assyrians took over da Damascus? ¿Qué pasó después que los asirios tomaron a Damasco? Remember the Assyrians, the Turkish take over Damascus. Acuérdate que los turcos tomaron a, a Damasco. What happens next? ¿Qué sucedió después? So let's put this into perspective. Vamos a poner esto todo junto. You got Psalm 83. Tienes Salmo 83. Okay, who wins that war? ¿Quién gana esa batalla? Israel wins that war, right? Israel la gana. All the nations become under, under Israel's uh, rule, right? Todas las naciones vienen bajo el mando de Israel. Then Isaiah 17 has to happen second. En, entonces eh, la segunda es Isaías 17. Because why? ¿Por qué? Because the king of Ashur needs to take over Damascus. Porque el king de Ashur necesita apoderarse de Damasco. Because why? ¿Por qué? Turn to 2 Kings chapter 17. Vamos a hacer el segundo libro de Reyes 17. Let's look at verse 1 through 6 now. Del 1 hasta el 6. 2 Kings. Segundo libro de Reyes. 17. 17. Verse 1 through 6. Next del 1 hasta el 6. So here the king of Ashur or has already taken over Damascus in chapter 16, right? Amen. The king of Ashur. I'm... El rey el rey de Ashur. 
has already taken over Damascus in chapter 16, right? Se ha apoderado de Damasco en el capítulo 16. But then we act like a bunch of pagans. Pero actuamos como un grupo de paganos. So now that he's already taken over Damascus, he's closer to Israel, right? Ahora se ha apoderado de Damasco, está más cerca de Israel. That's a lot of miles to cover. Eh, ahí hay muchas millas para correr. Damascus is pretty close to Jer Jerusalem today. Porque Damasco está muy cercano a Jerusalén hoy en día. So let's see what happens in chapter 17. Vamos a ver qué pasa en el capítulo 17. Verse 1 through 6. Del 1 hasta el 6. It was in the 12th year of Ahaz, king of Yehuda, that Hoshea, the son of Elia, began his reign over Israel in Shamron. He ruled for nine years. He did what was evil from Jehovah's perspective, though he wasn't as bad as the kings of Israel he had, who had preceded him. Shalman Eser, the king of Ashur, advanced against Hoshea. And Hoshea became a vassal and paid him tribute. But the king of Ashur found that Hoshea was conspiring against him. He had, not, he had sent messengers so that to, to, uh, to, so the king of Egypt did not, and not paid his tribute to the king of Ashur. And he had previously done every year. For this, the king of Ashur imprisoned him, putting him in chains. Then the king of Ashur invaded all the land, advanced on Shamron, and put it under siege for three years. And in the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Ashur captured Shamron. He carried Israel away captive. And Ashur resettled them in Halak and Havor and goes on river in the cities of the Medes. Amen? Amen. Let's go back to verse 2. Regresemos al versículo 2. He did what was evil from mm -hmm. Jehovah's perspective, although he wasn't as bad as the kings of Israel had preceded him. Amen? Okay, Amen. so what happens next? ¿Qué sucedió después? A new king comes over. Viene un nuevo rey. God removes the bad guy. Dios removió al otro. And then the next guy... He's not as bad as everybody else, but he's still bad. <laughs> Entonces, este no es tan malo como los otros, pero también es malo. But he's bad from whose perspective? Pero él es malo ante los ojos Jehovah's de quién? Jehovah's perspective. Ante los ojos de Jehovah. That is the only perspective we need to follow. Esa es la única perspectiva que necesitamos seguir. And that's what Israel needs to do today. Y eso es lo que Israel necesita hacer hoy. Before the next chess piece happens. Antes de que suceda la, la próxima pieza de ajedrez. Israel needs to do what is right in Jehovah's perspective. Israel debe de hacer lo que es correcto a los ojos de Dios. So he, he gives them nine years time to what? Él le da un periodo de nueve, de nueve años para qué? Why does he give them nine years? Porque les entrega nueve años. He gives them time to repent. Les da tiempo a arrepentirse. But does he? Pero se arrepiente. No, he does not. No, no se arrepiente. Let's look at verse three. Miremos el versículo tres. Shaman Ezer, king of Ashur, advanced on Hoshea. And Hoshea became a vassal and paid him tribute. Amen? Amen. So here, what happens? Aquí, ¿qué pasó? The king of Ashur advances on Israel. El rey de Ashur avanzó hasta Israel. Because God is bringing this fight. Porque Dios está trayendo esta batalla. So what's going to happen? ¿Qué va a pasar? Turkey is going to advance on Damascus. Turquía se va a avanzar a aproximarse a Damasco. To get closer to Israel to invade Israel in the Ezekiel 38 war. Para acercarse a Israel y invadirla. Esa es la guerra de Ezequiel 38. So here the king of, the king of Israel, Hoshea. Aquí el rey de Israel, Hoshea. Pays the pagans money. Le paga a los paganos dinero. Why do you pay the pagans money what God gave you to do? Porque le pagas tributo ay, con lo que Dios te you dijo. Que the pagans money no le das tributo. For the protection, you either follow God or you don't follow anybody at all. No le pagas a los paganos para protección o sigues a Dios o no lo sigues. Now the Turks are closer. Remember, they have Damascus. Ahora los turcos están cerca. Acuérdate que están en Damasco. Now look at verse 5. Ahora miren el versículo 5. Then the king of Ashur invades all the land, advancing on Shamron and put it under siege for three years. Amen. Amen. So the king of Ashur invades who? El rey de Ashur invadió a quién? He invades Israel. Invadió a Israel. Okay, then that's the Ezekiel 38 war. Esa es la guerra de Ezequiel 38. Because what did we read in Ezekiel 38? Porque leímos, porque qué leímos en Ezequiel 38? God and Magog and who else? God y Magog y quién más? And a horde of other people. Y muchas otras eh, pueblos. And the Turks want Israel. Y los turcos. Because they already owned it once. Ellos se apoderan porque ya se han apoderado una, otra vez. Now, why is this happening? Porque eso está pasando. Why is this happening? Porque está pasando. Go back to verse 2. Volvamos al versículo 2. Achad, oh, sorry, chapter 16. El 16. Chapter 16, verse 2. Capítulo 16, 2. Second Kings 16, verse 2. Why is this happening? Segundo libro de Reyes 16, 2. Porque está esto aconteciendo. Achad, Achad was 20 years old when he began to rule. He reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, 
But he did, did not do what was right from the perspective of Jehovah, his Elohim, as David, his ancestor had done. Amen? Amen. Okay? So when we don't do what is right from Jehovah's perspective, Cuando no hacemos lo que es correcto a los ojos de Dios, when our actions are no different than the pagan people, Cuando nuestras acciones no son diferentes a las de los paganos, war happens. Eh, sucede la guerra. People die. Eh, mueren personas. So the, the progress is this. El progreso es este. Israel has struck Syria. Israel atacó a Siria. Okay. The next process is what's going to happen. El próximo proceso de lo que va a acontecer. Is we're going to go through the Psalm 83 war. Es que vamos a ir a través de la guerra de Salmo 83. Okay. But then Israel is going to have, the, it's going to win that war. Israel va a ganar esa guerra. Okay. So then what happens next? Entonces qué sucede después? We're going to have problems in Damascus, Damascus. No. Vamos a tener problemas en Damasco. We're going to ask the Turkish to come and help us with Damascus. Vamos a pedirle a los turcos que nos ayuden en Damasco. And then in the final, the, the final part. Entonces en la parte final. Gog and Magog come to invade Israel with a whole horde of people. Gog y Magog vienen a invadir a Israel con un gran ejército. But the key to everything we do. Pero la clave para lo, todo lo que nosotros hacemos. Is ask ourselves this question. Es preguntarnos a nosotros mismos esta pregunta. Why? Is this happening? ¿Por qué esto está pasando? Have we provoked God's anger? Hemos provocado a, Dios, a la ira de Dios. Has Israel provoked God's anger? Israel ha provocado a Israel a Have ira. Have we, God's body, provoked God's anger? Nosotros como el cuerpo de Dios hemos provocado su ira. Let's go on to lesson number three. Vamos a la lección tres. What do we need to do today? ¿Qué necesitamos hacer hoy? Turn to Jeremiah 7, please. Vamos a Jeremías 7. Jeremiah 7. Jeremías 7. Everybody learned in lesson number 1 and 2? Han aprendido en la lección 1 y 2? You understand where we are in this chess match? Entienda en qué parte estamos en este partido de ajedrez. Nothing has begun. We were sort of there. Estamos casi ahí. But we have, are we provoking God? Estamos provocando a Dios. God does nothing in secret, everybody. Dios no hace nada en lo oculto, en lo secreto. Jeremiah 7, verse 17 through 19. Jeremías 7 del 17 hasta el 19. Jeremiah 7 verse 17 through 19. Jeremías 7 del 17 hasta el 19. Everybody got it? Todos lo tienen. All right. Don't you see what they are doing in the cities of Yehuda? And in the streets of Jerusalem. The children gather the wood The fathers light the fire, and the women knead dough and make cakes for the queen of heaven. And just to provoke me, they pour out drink offerings in, to other gods. Are they really provoking me, asked Jehovah, or are they provoking themselves to their own ruin? Whoa. Amen? Amen. Let's look back at verse 18. Miremos el versículo 18. The children gather wood, the fathers light the fire. And the women need the dough and makes cakes for the queen of heaven. And just to provoke me, they pour out drink offerings to other gods. Amen? Is the world provoking him? ¿Está el mundo provocándolo a él? Are we the, we are the world. Nosotros somos el mundo. <laughs> we are the world. We are the world. Somos el mundo. Why can't we just get along? Porque no nos podemos llevar bien. Okay. Why can't we just get along with God? Porque no nos podemos llevar bien con Dios. Are we provoking God's wrath? Estamos provocando su ira. Okay. They make cakes for the Queen of Heaven. Hicieron tortas para esta reina de los cielos. What happened not too long ago in Jerusalem? ¿Qué pasó no eh, hace poquito en Israel? The gay en pride Jerusalem. parade. La parada de los uh, homosexuales. Okay. The gay pride parade. Ese día del orgullo homosexual. What is happening around the world? ¿Qué está aconteciendo alrededor mundial? Homosexuality. La homosexualidad. What else is happening? ¿Qué más está pasando? Robbery. Eh, robos. All the things that God says not to do. Todas esas cosas que Dios dijo que no se deberían hacer. But I proclaim the Torah as good. Pero yo proclamo la Torah como buena. And then somebody in the body of God says to me, I'm a cult. Pero to hell alguien, with you. <laughs> alguien me dijo que yo hacía culto. Vete al diablo. Vete al diablo. You know, porque... somebody this week said that Beth Goim is a cult. <laughs> alguien esta semana dijo que Beth Goim es un culto. How often do cults let people come and go? 
<laughs> que, que tan frecuentemente los cultos dejan ir y, y venir a las personas. Does the, the mafia let people come and go? ¿Será que la mafia deja que la gente entre Now y salga? that's a cult. Eso es un culto. Okay. So who's provoking God? ¿Quién está provocando a Dios? So many people are saying we don't need to follow the laws of God. Muchas personas están diciendo no debemos de seguir las leyes This de Dios. This has not happened in 20 years. Esto no ha pasado por 20 años. When I first started in ministry 20 years ago, cuando empecé en el ministerio 20 años atrás, there was this whole movement. Había un movimiento. That messianic Judaism is a cult. Que el judaísmo mesiánico era un culto. There was one person that I saw a video of this week. Había una persona y vi un video en esta semana. That had 24,000 views of his 24,000 likes. <laughs> que tuvo 24,000 eh, me gustas. 24,000 likes cause, calling messianic Judaism a cult. Que llamaban al judaísmo mesiánico un culto. Who's provoking God, me or you? Quién está provocando a Dios, tú o yo? Which So God is saying, Dios hmm. está diciendo, hmm. I'm God. Yo soy Dios. I can do what I want. Yo puedo hacer lo que yo I'm quiera. God. Yo I soy don't Dios. change. Yo no cambio. I'm God. I don't change. Yo no cambio. Let's see what verse 19 says. Miramos qué dice el versículo 19. Look at verse 19, everybody. El 19. Are they really provoking me, asked Jehovah? Are they provoking themselves to their own ruin? Amen? Amen. Look at that. What the, what, look at the question that Jehovah asked. Mira esa pregunta que Jehovah está haciendo. Are they provoking me? Me están provocando a mí. Are they provoking themselves? O se están provocando ellos mismos. Because I, God, change not. Porque yo soy Dios y yo no cambio. I don't change. Yo no cambio. My rules from the beginning are the same rules that they are today. Mis reglas son las mismas que son hoy. So God is moving his chess pieces around. Dios está moviendo las piezas del ajedrez. When Israel struck Syria, things got set in motion. Cuando Israel atacó a Siria, las cosas se pusieron en Why? movimiento. ¿Por qué? Because we are provoking God's wrath. Porque estamos provocando a Dios a ira. And the only way to stop God's wrath y la única manera de detener esta is ira to turn back to the ancient paths. Es devolvernos, de regresar a la senda antigua. Let's go to Jeremiah 25. Vamos a Jeremías 25. Verse 4 through 7. Del 4 hasta el 7. Anybody learn anything here today? ¿Están aprendiendo algo este día? Anybody learn anything here today? ¿Están aprendiendo algo? Jeremiah 25, Jeremiah 25. Jeremiah 25. Verse 4 through 7. Del 4 hasta el 7. Moreover, Jehovah sent you all, you. his servants, the prophets, again, on numerous occasions, but you didn't listen or pay attention. The message was always, every one of you, turn back from his evil way, from the evil of your actions. Then you will live in the land Jehovah gave you, and your an you and your ancestors, forever and ever. Don't follow other gods by serving and worshiping them. Don't provoke my anger with things of your own hands, hands have made. Then I will do you no harm. But you wouldn't listen to me, says Jehovah, so that you could provoke so that you could provoke me with the products of your own hands to your own harm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Look at verse 4, people. Miren el versículo 4. Look at verse 4 and el underline that one in your Bible. El versículo 4 y por favor subrayenlo en sus Biblias. Underline verse 4 in your Bible. El versículo 4. Moreover, Jehovah sent you all his servants, the prophets, again, on numerous occasions, but you didn't listen or pay attention. Amen? Amen. This is God's love. Este es el amor de Dios. This is God's love. Este es el amor de Dios. This verse is God's love. Este versículo es el amor de Dios. He's telling you that he's sending people like me. Él está diciendo que le está enviando gente como él. To tell you to follow the dead God Torah. Para decirte que sigas la Torá. What is so hard about this? ¿Qué es lo difícil de esto? You, would you rather listen to Satan? ¿Preferirías escuchar a Satanás? Oh, you're a cult. Oh, tú eres you're un bad. Tú eres malo. We don't need to cover our hair no more. That's vain. It's not there. You're an idiot. No necesitamos cubrirnos el pelo. Eso es vano. Tú eres un idiota. We can cut our beards. We can. We don't need to wear seats. The oat. Eh, podemos cortarnos las barbas. No necesitamos utilizar seats. We can eat whatever we want. Podemos comer lo que queramos. How well did that work out for Israel? ¿Cómo le fue de bien a Israel con eso? When Israel is bombing Syria. Cuando Israel está bombardea bombardeando a Siria. You got two steps before you get annihilated. Tiene dos uh, uh, 
dos pasos antes de que seas destruido. Because you know what we didn't go through today? You know what we didn't talk about today? ¿Sabe de lo que no hablamos hoy? What happens before the invasion? ¿Qué pasó antes de la invasión? What happens before the invasion in Ezekiel 38, guys? ¿Qué pasó antes de la invasión de Ezequiel 38? Can anybody say Zechariah 13 verse 9? ¿Alguno puede decir Zacarías 13 9? When two thirds of the Jews get wiped off the daggone planet? Cuando dos tercios de los judíos son destruidos? But it's, Jesus is all about love. Pero Jesús es todo amor. He loves us. Él nos ama. He died for us so that I can go fornicate. Él murió por mí para que yo pueda ir a fornicar. He died for me so I can go smoke pot. Y para que pueda fumar marihuana. He died for me so that my country could sell cocaine. Y para que mi país pueda eh, vender eh, cocaína. He died because you know, God is love. Él murió porque él es amor. And love is blind. Y el amor es ciego. God just loves me for who I am. Él me ama por quien yo soy. Look at verse 4. Miren el versículo 4. Moreover, Jehovah sent you all his servants, the prophets, again, on numerous occasions, but you didn't listen or pay attention to them. Amen? Amen. He sends people to teach the Torah the right way. Él envió personas para que enseñaran la Torah de la manera apropiada. Assyria is on the doorstep of Syria. Asiria está a las puertas de Siria. 54,000 or more troops now. 54,000 eh, en tropas. They want it back. Ellos la quieren de vuelta. Islam teaches once it was theirs, it's always theirs. <laughs> El Islam enseña que de una, eh, una vez que fue de ellos, siempre va a ser de ellos. That's what the Quran talks about. De eso habla el Corán. We've opened the first seal, everybody. Abri abrimos el primer sello. Australia has already been conquered. Australia ya ha sido conquistado. They put the man who organized that event aquel hombre que organizó el evento in jail lo pusieron en la cárcel he spoke against Islam. porque él habló en contra del Islam. If you speak against Islam in Europe, you'll be put in jail. Si hablas en contra del Islam en Europa, te van a meter a la cárcel. If you speak against Islam in Germany, y you'll en be put Alemania, in jail. Y en Alemania te encerrarán en la cárcel. If you speak against Islam in Sweden, you'll be put in jail. Y en Suecia también te encerrarán. Go ahead. Make my day. Ve y hazlo. I'm going to shoot it down a little bit to the right, so I'm going to cock it up. I'm going to shoot your left eye. Te voy a disparar cerca de tu ojo de izquierdo. They're trying to destroy us. Ellos están tratando de destruirnos. Actually, they're not. Realmente trying. no. They're not trying to destroy us. No están tratando de destruirnos. We're destroying ourselves. Nosotros mismos nos estamos destruyendo. Look at verse 4 again everybody. Miren el versículo 4 una Moreover, vez más. Jehovah sent you all his servants and prophets again on numerous occasions you didn't listen or pay attention. Amen. We're destroying ourselves people. Estamos destruyéndonos nosotros mismos. But as for me and my house. Pero yo y mi casa. We're going to serve the Lord in his Torah and his son Yeshua. Serviremos al Señor a su Torah y a su hijo Yeshua. Because here's the message everybody. Porque aquí está el mensaje para todos. Look at verse 5. Miren el versículo 5. Look at verse 5. El versículo 5. The message was always every one of you turn back from his evil way, from the evil of your actions, then you will live in the land Jehovah gave to you and your ancestors forever and ever. Amen? Amen. The message is always the same. El mensaje es siempre el mismo. Teshuva. Teshuva. Not to man's ma man-made ways. No a los hombres. Not to the rabbi's ways. No a la manera de los rabinos. I can't come to Shabbat because it's over 2,000 cubits. Where the heck do you find that? <laughs> no puedo venir al Shabbat porque tengo que viajar mucho. ¿Dónde encuentras eso? I esto? find that in the Babylonian Talmud is where I found that. Eso se encuentra en el Talmud Babilónico. Ahí es Tractate donde se encuentra. number 39 to be exact. En el Tratado 39 para ser exacto. I'm not going to celebrate Passover because I'm not in Jerusalem. No voy a celebrar Pesa porque no estoy en Jerusalén. The message is always the same. El mensaje siempre es el mismo. Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Porque Dios es el mismo hoy, ayer y por siempre. Turn back from your evil ways. Regresa de tus caminos malvados. God's ways aren't evil. Los caminos de Dios no son malvados. They, this is what He wants. Eso es lo que él quiere. He made the universe. Él hizo el universo. But He's taking His chess pieces. Pero él está tomando las piezas del ajedrez. He's going to take some of His lions. Va a tomar alguno de sus leones. And he's going to take some of his lions. Alguno de sus leones. And surround 
the queen of evil. Y va a rodear esta reina de la maldad. The church la is the queen of evil. Esa es la reina de la maldad. Not the messianic body. No el cuerpo messianico. Well, a lot of the messianic body is evil. Eh, mucho del cuerpo messianico sí son malvados. But the message is always the same. El mensaje siempre es el mismo. What is the message? ¿Cuál es el mensaje? Follow God in spirit and in truth. Sigue a Dios en espíritu y en verdad. Look at verse 25, everybody. Miren el versículo 25. The message is always, every one of you, turn back to Shuba from his evil way, from Cinco. the evil of your actions, then you will live in the land Jehovah gave you and your, you and your ancestors forever. Amen? Amen. Turn back from your evil ways. Regresa de tus caminos malvados. Eating kosher is not evil, it is good. Comer eh, comida kosher no es malvado, es bueno. When God said to eat the lamb for Pesach, he said it's good. Cuando Dios dice come el cordero para la pesa, es bueno. Especially the way Felix cooks is one thing the man can do is cook. <laughs> Especialmente como lo cocina Felix, es muy you bueno. You don't know much about the butt, no. <laughs> But, but God said, these are my days. Dios dijo, estos son mis días. The message is always the same. El mensaje siempre es el mismo. You don't want the queen of evil in your house. Tú no quieres esta reina de la maldad en tu hogar. Then you've got to start following God. Debes de seguir a Dios. You've got to start following God. Debes de empezar a seguir a Dios. Look at verse 6, everybody. Miren el versículo 6. Don't follow other gods by serving and worshiping them. Don't provoke my anger with things of your own hands you have made. Then I will do you no harm. Amen. Amen. Don't follow other gods and serve them. No sigan a otros dioses para servirlos. The Shabbat is the Shabbat is the Shabbat is the Shabbat. El Shabbat siempre es el Shabbat es el Shabbat y es el Shabbat. No cambia. God does not change. Dios no cambia. The holy days, Passover is pass, Pesach is Pesach is Pesach. <laughs> el, los días santos, Pesach es Pesach y es Pesach y es Pesach. Shavuot is Shavuot. Shavuot es Shavuot. I don't care if the Messiah was born on that day or not that day. I don't care. It doesn't say. No me importa si el Mesías nació en ese día o no. No, no lo dice. No me importa. Don't provoke God by following other gods. No provoques a Dios a seguir otros dioses. Don't worship other gods. No adores a otros dioses. Because we're heading for something really big here, people. Porque nos estamos acercando a algo muy grande. Because this message ain't being preached in Israel. Porque este mensaje no está siendo dicho en Israel. There are Torah, so many Torah observant messianic congregations in Israel. Hay muchas congregaciones mesiánicas observantes en Israel. They're afraid to look like this. Tienen miedo de lucir así. They're afraid to look like this. Tienen miedo de lucir así. Eddie Chumley's like, he doesn't look like this. El, este líder no luce así. Okay? They're afraid this because they're afraid to turn back to the Torah. Ellos tienen miedo porque tienen miedo de regresar a la Torah. Look at verse, don't provoke him to Psalm 83. No lo provoques al Salmo 83. Because that's the next thing on the parade, that's Por, the next thing on the, on the timeline. Porque eso es lo siguiente que se está acercando. Once that seal, once a, that seal happens, that fourth seal happens. Una vez que ese cuarto sello suceda. Psalm 83 happens. Sucede el Salmo 83. But it's not going to only be there, people. Pero no solo va a ser ahí. It's not going to only be there. Why? No va a ser ahí solamente. What did we look at in the news, everybody? ¿Qué fue lo que miramos en las noticias? What kind of people are coming over our border? ¿Qué clase de gente está viniendo a nuestras fronteras? Mexican, that's right, Mexican. Mexicanos. No, that, that's nothing. What kind of people were caught in Texas this week? ¿Qué tipo de personas eh, se eh, capturaron en Texas? Syrian nationals. Sirios. How did they get there? ¿Cómo llegaron hasta ahí? Who brought them there? ¿Quién los trajo ahí? What does Psalm 127 verse 1 say? ¿Qué dice Salmo 127 What 1? What does Psalm 127 verse 1 say? ¿Qué dice el Salmo 127 Unless 1? Unless the Lord guards the house, al menos, the watchmen watch in vain. Amén. Al menos que el Señor guarde la ciudad, el, atara, el atalaya vela we gotta en vano. We got to invite God back into our house no matter where you are. Debemos de invitar a Dios a nuestros hogares no importa dónde estés. But look at what happened in verse number 7. Pero mire qué acontece en el versículo 7. But you wouldn't listen to me, says Jehovah, so that you could, so that you could provoke me with the products of hands to your own harm. Amen. We won't listen to Torah. No escuchamos la Torah. We're called a cult. No, eh, nos llaman un culto. Welcome to the cult of personality. Bienvenidos al culto de la personalidad. Because my name is a. What, we're getting a. What, what is the word? Secta. Una secta, un culto. Sí. What is it? Secta. Secta, like a sect. A sect. Yeah, we're a sect. We're an insect. We Somos bug una secta. <laughs> Let's go to the final scripture. Vamos a la escritura final. 
Second Chronicles 7, everybody. Segunda, eh, segundo libro de Crónicas 7. Final scripture. Escritura final. Second Chronicles 7. Segundo libro de Crónicas 7. Verse 14 and 15. Del versículo 14 hasta el 15. Second Chronicles 7. Segundo libro de Crónicas 7. Verse 14 and 15. 14 y 15. Has everybody learned something here today in this Han lesson? aprendido algo hoy día en esta lección? It is, this, this thing only took 12 hours to put together. Eso solo me tomó 12 horas para ponerlo todo I junto. sat in that chair for 12 hours. 12 horas. Because he wanted to speak to you. Porque quería hablarte. Hopefully you'll hear the voice of the Lord. Espe espero que escuche la voz del Señor. It's about a covering everybody. We want God's covering. Queremos la cobertura de Dios. Second Chronicles 7 verse 14 and 15. Segundo libro de Crónicas 7 del 14 hasta el 15. Then if my people who bear my name would humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears will pay attention to the prayer made in this place. Amen. Amen. Before the Psalm 83 war happens, people. Antes de que suceda la guerra del Salmo 83. There's no date on it. No tiene una fecha. It's not like Pesach that has a date. No es como Pesach que tiene su fecha. God makes, makes us a promise. Dios nos hizo una promesa. We got to turn to Him. Debemos regresar hacia Él. He's already looking at us. Él está mirándonos. We have to humble ourselves. Tenemos que humillarnos. We have to seek His face. Tenemos que buscar su rostro. When you mean meaning seeking his face, meaning seeking his commandments. Cuando dices eh, buscar su rostro es buscar sus mandamientos. We got to turn from what the evil that's in our hearts. Debemos eh, eh, arrepentirnos de la maldad que está en nuestros corazones. We have to be bold and strong for God's word. Tenemos que ser fuertes y valientes por la palabra del Señor. Then, look at verse 15. Entonces mira el versículo 15. Then, now my eyes will be open and my ears will pay attention to the prayer made in this place. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 <laughs> amen. amen. Why don't we just bow our hearts for one moment? Inclinemos nuestros corazones por un momento. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Gracias, Señor, por tu bendición. Thank you, Lord, for your powerful warning. Gracias, Señor, por tu advertencia poderosa. Thank you for giving us an opportunity, Lord. Gracias por entregarnos una oportunidad, Señor. If you're out there, si estás allá afuera, and you need to teshuva, y necesitas hacer teshuva, to return and repent to Jehovah, de regresar y arrepentirte ante Jehovah, to return and understand who Mashiach, Messiah, Yeshua is, para regresar y entender quién es Yeshua el Mesías. If you're out there and you've never accepted Yeshua as master, si estás allá afuera y nunca has aceptado a Yeshua como tu amo, then today he's offering his hand to you. Entonces hoy él, él te está extendiendo su mano. And the way he's offering his hand to you is you got to do something. Y la manera que él está extendiendo su mano, tú debes de hacer algo. You have to offer your life to him. Tú tienes que ofrecerle tu vida a él. If you've never done this before, si nunca has hecho esto antes, I'm going to lead you in a simple short prayer. Te voy a llevar en una oración corta. But you need to mean these words in your heart, in your spirit. Pero debes de sentir esta, esta palabra en tu corazón y en not, tu espíritu. Not just say the words, no solamente decirlas, but mean them in your heart. pero sentirlas en tu corazón. If you've never given your life to Yeshua the Messiah, si nunca le has entregado tu vida a Yeshua el Mesías, see, Say these words. Di estas palabras. Yeshua, I'm sorry. Yeshua, lo siento. I really am truly sorry. En verdad estoy arrepentido, lo siento. I've been a real jerk. Es, eh, me he comportado mal. And I'm asking for your forgiveness today. Y te estoy pidiendo perdón en este día. <coughs> I ask you to wash me. Te pido que me laves. Clean me. Limpiame. Make me something new. Hazme nacer de nuevo. If you've done that for the very first time. Si has hecho esto por primera vez. And meant it in your heart. Y lo has sentido en tu corazón. And accepted Yeshua into your heart. Y aceptaste a Yeshua en tu corazón. Then you are born again. Entonces has nacido de nuevo. But you have to do something. Pero tienes que hacer algo. Yeshua said you have to profess him before man. Yeshua dice que tienes que profesarlo delante de los hombres. So that he could profess you before his father and his angels. Así él te profesará delante de su padre y sus ángeles. If you've said that prayer for the very 
very first time and meant it in your heart. Si has dicho esta oración por primera vez y lo sentiste en tu corazón. Then slip up your hands so we can pray with you. Levanta tu mano y oraré contigo. Amen. Amen. If you're hearing this on radio or television or internet, si estás escuchando esto en radio, televisión o internet, just let us know so we can pray with you. Déjanos saber y oraremos contigo. In your name is Yeshua, I pray. Tu nombre es Yeshua. Amen. 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 Margarita, you accepted Yeshua. Amen. 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 Let's when we all rise. Thank you so much. Let's pray for Margarita. Thank you, Lord, for Margarita. We ask, Lord, your hand on her. Translate, please. Señor, por Margarita, te pedimos que ponga tu mano sobre ella. We ask, Lord, that you clear her mind. Te pedimos que limpie su mente. And give her a mind that is yours. Y dale, renuevale una mente, dásle una mente que sea tuya. We ask for your hand about her. Te pedimos que tu mano esté sobre ella. To bless her with your knowledge. Para bendecirla con tu conocimiento. We ask for your hand of wisdom upon her. Te pedimos tu mano de sabiduría sobre ella. Knowledge. De conocimiento. And understanding. Y de entendimiento. We ask for her to have strength. Te pedimos que le des fuerzas. And wisdom. Sabiduría. We ask for your blessing upon our home. Y tu bendición sobre su hogar. In your name, Yeshua. En tu nombre, Yeshua. Amen. 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 Panabole kaviat sem laka shalom. May Jehovah bless you and keep you. May Jehovah make his face shine on you and show you his favor. May Jehovah lift up his face toward you and give you his shalom. Jehovah te bendiga y te guarde. Haga respondes there. Jehovah su crosro. Sorbe ti, haya ti misericordia. Haya de ti misericordia. Jehovah se ti su crosro y ponga en ti shalom. In the name of the Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace, the name, and everybody said, Amen and Amen. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed, by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend a day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there because Shabbat is so special to him there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close the Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and Biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.